go. Um, is anyone really looking forward to more Kirby, by the way? Because I, Kirby's my, one of my favorite th things on this planet ever. Like, whoever made Kirby, I'd kiss him. I'd kiss him right on the face. Or her. I don't know. Kirby could have been made by a girl. I just... Japanese stuff like that, I feel like, is always a dude. But then again, there are a lot of female manga writers. So, you know? Grab me a gin jail while you're at it. Gingy ale. I'm trying to adjust my mic, but it won't come loose. There we go. Sorry, guys. Okay, and I think we're good. I got, I got the mic sitting in a way that is not just right in front of my face now. That was what I was trying to do. Honest to, to goodness. Um, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna look at chat through OBS, which sometimes causes a, this is a tad a teensy tiny itty bitty bit of delay, but uh, I think it I think it should be fine. Um, yeah, shouldn't shouldn't be too impactful. Should we just? Go fight the boss. Should we just go do it? Should we just go rip it off like a band-aid? And... Also, yes, Kirby. Yes. Okay, sweet. Sweet. I want more people to like the Kirby series because I want to beat it, but, like, it seems like the videos that I always see on my feed now because it knows I'm posting Kirby, uh, it, they're always, like, end-game boss. And it's like, everybody's at the end-game already? <sighs> Frick. Is it even worth posting? I don't know. <sighs> okay. Let's do this. <laughs> And we had to go up this way. Yeah. Yeah, we had to go up this way. Cool. Coolio McHoolio. <laughs> Let's go beat the final boss. I'm going to take this off because this is in my outfit. Yes. There we go. Now I'm looking like me. Now I'm looking like the Avenger of Samurai. Also, wait. Hang on. I wanted to... Mother take the damn helmet off. I have, like, these, like, black-white eyes now. It's, like, super weird. Eh? Also, we just hit five likes. Thank you guys so much. Also, if you're watching and you're not in the Discord, go ahead and click the link and join our Discord. Why wouldn't you? Discord's awesome. It literally is the only messaging app you ever will need. So much better than all the other ones. And you can make a bunch of new friends in the Zyni Gaming Creativity Server Discord. So definitely go check that out. Also, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. 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 You know? Oh, Queen's Bedside Chamber was, like, way closer. Way closer. Oh, yeah, that's right. I also turned the game volume down, which means that I can turn it back up. <laughs> Let me know if that's too loud. Honest to goodness. I'm kind of still fucking with it, but... Uh, I don't know. New friends can be scary. New friends can be scary, but also they could be friends. Oh, who wants, like, more friends? The more likely when something goes wrong, you can be like, Does anybody have some help? And they'll be like, meh. Oh, yeah, I have that friend. Okay, so I need to double check that I have, like, everything I want specifically on. I don't know about that jump talisman. Because jumping, jump attacks are great, but I'm more of a, you know, type of player. What else do I usually use? Oh, yeah, the Erd Tree Talisman, because then this doesn't increase the amount of damage I take. I'm not really increasing the damage that I do, though, sadly. Mm. Huh. <laughs> so the stream should have low latency, by the way. If, uh, if it feels like my, my, you know, responses are way too late... Um, cause it's not gonna be instant, but if they feel like really delayed, I would just refresh the stream. Sometimes that happens, so. Just a heads up, everybody. Um, what is this? Affinity damage? Yeah, I don't know what he does, so I guess I'll just keep it simple. Keep it simple, if you will, and, uh, just keep affinity damage. Uh, I don't know about the lightning, though, either. I don't know if he's weak to lightning. He's probably not weak to lightning. I could look on the wiki, but, you know, if I can, we just, you know, mm -hmm. Do I want all of this stuff, though? That's the question. 
Hmm. I mean, we're going to have to get a feel for this anyways. I, I don't think I'm going to beat these final bosses on, like, my first or second try, right? Like, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way, right, guy? Huh? A gingy. Like a little, a little gingy wingy. Okay, let's jump into it. <gasps> ah! Okay, we got a cutscene. Man with stick. Cool. I'm just saying what I see. That's not very helpful. I'm here for the ring. You got it? Give me that ring. That I've heard so much about. It's been a long while, Morgo. Ah, he naked. That's the guy I killed. <laughs> like three times, by the way. I missed Dragon Lord. What did you think of it? Wait, wait what do you mean the Dragon Lord? Oh, oh, you mean Plaza D. Didst thou fight? I wouldn't say that it's the coolest boss in the game. Warrior. I mean, I didn't, I don't know. I thought it was a cool dragon. By the grace of I think Malekith was probably cooler. I don't know what my favorite boss in the game so far Be is, assured, honestly. The Elden Ring. He has it. See, I told you, this guy, he, I'm going to kick his ass and steal it. Kick his ass and take the ring. Ring-a-ling-a-ling, ring-a-ling-a-ling. Hello, hello, hello. That's a song Alas, out of Black Eyed Peas. Heard it by Will I Am. Returned. Yeah, same thing, but... He's saying some stuff and doing some stuff. This guy's got a lion on his to back, bro. I've seen you in posters. You're in the art book. You're actually the center in the art book. You're the first page of the art book and the last page of the art book. And I think he's on the music, uh, the soundtrack thing. And he's in Stormvale, uh, Stormvale Castle. There's a big free. painting. Tayo beats up old man and steals ring. Hell yeah. Elden That's a title. Lord. Oh, the first Elden Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'm the last Elden Lord, bitch. Oh. Why is my controller... Okay, I'm not clicked onto the game. Oh, shit. Stay away from me. Stay away from me, lion man. I'm gonna do a summy. I'm gonna do a summa dis. <laughs> We're gonna summon the mimic. No. Where's this old man gone? Old man, get back here. I'm here to give you your diabetes medicine. Get insulin pumped. <laughs> oh, that hit my face right in the head. Whoa, what are you doing, brother? You know what? We'll do it without buffs. Who needs buffs? Who needs buffs when you got frostbite? Oh, he's really weak to frostbite. I'm really weak to getting smacked in the face. Not clickbait. <laughs> I just saw that. Okay. Well, so it does look like he is weak to frostbite. I don't know why. I, for some reason, every time I go into a boss fight, like, first try, like, I don't take it very seriously. I don't know why. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? I didn't even use my buffs before walking in. I just kind of walked in. Okay. Okay. You know what? We're going to cheat a little bit. And so what we're going to do, we're going to come over here. We're gonna pop this. We're gonna do this one. 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 And we're gonna do this one. Hell yeah, brother. And then we're gonna sit down. And then uh, just go back in. <laughs> we got all our buffs. We got all the ones we need. Specifically. I think they only, some of them only last a couple of seconds, though. So not always the best idea to do this. I've done this before for other bosses, I think. I can't remember which one. I know that I've done it at least once. Hora Lou, I am here for you. That's his real name. For those of you that don't follow all the lore, necessarily. Oh, he's a big axie boy. I'm here to ask, ask you a question, brother. Oh boy. Oh, he does a stomp. Oh no. Oh no. I do, 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 do not be doing those attacks that keep coming. I am not here for that. Yeah, hit him with the black blade, bitch. Yeah, get his ass. Oh my god. Uh oh. Ooh, he does have a second phase. 
Look at his knees, bro. Damn, look at those legs, bro. This guy's got hams. He has hams on his legs, bro. Oh, do I fight the lion? Is this about to get all reading rainbow up in this bitch? Oh, no, that's between the lions. That's actually good. Never. Sirosh. Sirosh? I know a guy named Rosh. Oh, God! What is happening? Oh, he's going MMA on me. I've seen, like, clips of him body slamming people, and I gotta say, I'm excited to be body slammed by this old man. You know, there's uh, tabs on certain websites for this. Dunk Oh, he has been summoned. Or he ate. Did he eat the lion? What happened? Is he I've the lion? Given the courtesy enough. Okay, bro. This is just my second attempt, brother. Ah, look at me. I'm all buff and cool. And I have a lion. I killed that lion. And now I'm covered in blood. I'm all edgy. This <sighs> Look at me, it's not even cold out here, but my breath is so hot that it went- Now I fight just Horalu. Ah, now you're Horalu. Warrior! Okay, this man's actually really scary looking. Ah! Okay, I need to get this frostbite. He's yelling. And his name is John- Uh-oh. Okay, that's not an attack you can jump out of. Okay. Skip, skip, skip to the loo, do, do. This is Horaloo. I need to put this to ice because it is. Oh, sh. What? Oh. Yeah, Mimic, you got this. You got this, bro. My Mimic actually really does. My Mimic has this. Uh oh. Whoa. Uh oh. Whoa. -oh. Look at him. Horalu, leave him alone. Ugh. Mimic, no, don't die. Ow. This man is very. Yeah, okay. My mimic stole that from me. We did it, guys. On our second try, we beat the old man up. I don't have a ring, though, so I'm a little... I'm a little confused. I'm a little confused. I mean, do... do Is that count technically as my first try because I took it seriously? Nah, we'll say second try. We'll say second try. It'd be, it'd be just... Yeah. It'd be too... Fake. To, to be like, hey, yo. We beat it first try. I mean, the first try I used my buffs, I definitely beat it, but I don't know if that... Okay, we'll say that. I first time first time I actually went in prepared, rather than just walking in and being like, I'm gonna beat your ass. Ooh, I don't really want his axe. Grant's abilities... Wait, what is... Oh, it's an Ash of War. Yes, sir, brother. Oh my God, he gave me a lot of runes. Should I level up? I don't know. I don't want to. I mean, that's like one level. Oh, I wouldn't be able to level up much. I'd be able to chill. Chill for a second, you know? Uh, yeah, I don't know. How many of these do I have? I have 40 of those? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I don't have a lot of these. Oh. <laughs> okay, I, do, I don't need that many. Stop. Just make sure I have, you know, enough for arrows. If I ever need them. Oh, yeah. Why not? I definitely didn't need that. <laughs> I don't need those. Yeah, whatever. There we go. We spent all our money. Reese Kittleson gonna grab... Gonna be really crazy when you find out about the dark world and realize... You're only halfway done. Oh, yeah. Okay. I can't tell if you're being serious. 
Um, I feel like you might be. Like, I'm too gullible for that type of shit. Like, you can't be in, like, chat like, hey, yo, this is real. <laughs> uh, okay. So I do want to check out that Ash of War. I just don't know what I'm going to put it on. Let's put it on a dagger. Just because live life dangerously. Yeah, fuck this Bloodhound step one. That was just for something I was doing outside. Outside the, the non schmints It's arcane scaling? Ugh. Oh, wait. That's what it was at. Never mind. Ain't stupid. <laughs> Keen Wakazashi. Okay. I do want to check it out. Let's go check it out. Let's go check out the ass of war. The Wakazashi. Wow. Also, yay, we're at seven likes. Thank you. Thank you to everybody who keeps liking the video. You guys are awesome. That's what I like to see. My guy doesn't sound very menacing when he yells, Ah! <laughs> you should have saved all those flasks just saying. I mean, what? What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Reese? What are you talking about? Okay. So, I'm gonna get rid of that. I don't know necessarily what's next. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, do I want this? I don't know. That's basically just that. What that is to everybody who cares. Um, that's my Wakazashi I use to inflict uh, ice blight like, really fast. Um. Yeah. Oh, I need root resin. Where do you get that? It's not hard to get, right? I don't know. I don't. I don't need it. I can. I can do other stuff. But what we can do, what we can do, we can come over here and we can go check out this Elden Throne. I prefer an Elden Tossed, if uh, if I'm being totally honest. All right, we got one boss, one boss left. I bet you it's not even gonna be hard. <laughs> oh, well, there's this right here. Well, that's pretty helpful. I mean, by that, uh, no, it isn't. Okay, so... Do we pop our buffs? Because the last time when we didn't, we couldn't first try it. Millennia 2 is gonna fuck you up. <laughs> Alright, so now I know that you're bullshitting. This. 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 I'm gonna use lightning bolt, maybe. Yeah, let's pop in there. Open sesame tree. I have come to come inside the tree and steal all of the acorns. I know this is where you're hiding them. This is where all of Scrat from Blue Sky Studios acorns ended up. I don't know if you guys saw that, that they did like a farewell to Scrat. They finally let him get his nut. I didn't let that man get his nut. Are you who I think you are? Are you maracas? Damn, your kitty's out. YouTube, forgive me. Your titties are cracking. That is a cool shot. That's a cool shot. I mean, they could have like made it to like her hair, like covered it. I don't know. Are you trying to make trying to make me cry? Why? Oh, the the blue sky studio thing. Yeah. We're gonna find all the scraps and nuts. Oh wait, was that maracas or was that? Oh, now it's red again. Red again and again. Wait, are they the same person? I'm so lost. Are they? Are they one? Have they become one? I don't know. I need to brush up on some of the lore because I don't know exactly everything that's happening right now. Look, it's him! It's the final boss! <laughs> yeah, it's the final boss. Yeah, sure. Yep. Yep. Rad again. I am here for you. I am going to ice blight you because I am assuming. Ah, my shit! Oh, he's not even. Okay. Oh, my ass! 
Oh my god. Oh, I'm dead. Whoa, boy. Okay, why am I just circling him? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Just like before, we're gonna two try everything. We're gonna, or maybe I'm not. Maybe actually, the whole time, every single time that I've gone into a fight, I've been actually just clearing the cutscene <laughs> for strats. Actually, <laughs> what am I talking about? Okay. Also, I didn't have Mimic, but, I mean, do I need Mimic for this? I don't, it doesn't seem that hard. <sighs> I mean, I got messed up, don't get me wrong. I, I definitely got my butt kicked there, but I don't know if I, uh, I need to use Mimic is all. Actually, what, why? Nah, let's not do that. I don't want to do it that way. I just wanted to show people that it was an option. One and a two. And a one, two, three. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, don't do another cutscene. Don't go sicko mode on me. Ah, it's gonna do the cutscene every time. I need my 900 runes. Give me those. Yeah. Oh, he does it again. Let me heal, brother. You looking mad? Cool, bro. Anime pose. Oh, frick. This man teleported? Woo! We're gonna summon Mimic because he is getting challenging. Oh god! Oh my face! Yeah, get him, Mimic! Oh, ow. Yeah, take, take his aggro for just a second, bro. Oh, God. Okay. And blade. And okay, we're out of FP. Okay. Oh, God. Mimic, stop taking all my thunder, dude. Making me look bad. I mean, he's just taking aggro for a second while I watch him. Ow. He really just likes to punch me, doesn't he? Okay. Well, we got away. Yeah, you just keep it up, I think. And we did it. Bada bing, bada boom. Eh, <laughs> you did. Get rid of canned. Boom. <laughs> I'm sorry. I apologize for that one. Every squirrel needs a good nut. Yeah. Facts. All facts, no printer. Are you the Elden Beef? I think, uh, guys, I think this is the Elden Beef. Look at him. Elden Schmeet. Should probably turn the effects up a little bit. I probably could afford to. Well, we're 40 minutes into the stream and I've already beat Radigan and Horalu. Let's see how hard this boss is. Because if he's challenging, we might as well spend some time. The Elden Queef. The Elden Corn Beef. Hey yo, Elden Corn Beef, dude. Hell yeah, dude. No, it's like the vegetable, the Elden Beef. Hello, Mr. Noodle. 
Mr. Noodle. I should have like a, a transition so that I can switch my character to Elmo. Like, Hello. How are you today? Uh oh. Elden Queef. I got a feeling he's going to be strong. Did we frostbite him? Oh my ass. Okay. I should probably heal. I was debating. Where are you going? Where are you going, Nessie? Ness is it Nessie? Is that the Loch Ness Monster's nickname? Oh, wow. It's, it's so beautiful. What has happened? Oh, my God. There's stuff on the ground. Guys, I took damage. <laughs> Silly me on that one. Elden Beef, I'm coming for you. Okay. He went all French fry mode. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. I saw that coming. It looks like the forest spirit from Princess Mononoke. I saw that a long time ago, so I can't actually remember what it looks like. But I trust you that it probably does. That's probably an interesting take. All right, Elden sneezed. What do we do here? What do we do? Hmm. All right, well, this is definitely the final boss. We might as well pop a rune arc, right? And so what we can do... Yeah, we might as well do the buff thing. One and a two and a one, two, three. And a one and a two and a one, two, three. I wouldn't trust me. That's dangerous. Yeah. That's a vibe, though. Okay. Come on, Elden Beat. We're on our way in. Oh, I do want to see if you can Ice Blight, Radigan. So, I'm gonna... I say Blight, but that's because of Monster Hunter. So, if anyone's like, Oh, what do you mean by Ice Blight? That's why. My brain is stuck in that. Skip. Let's start it up, Radigan! Oh, wait, actually. Uh-huh, you missed. Ah, we didn't miss. Okay. Don't you fist me. Ouch. There it is. Okay, now that we oh, now that we got our eyes blight, we got to come over here and hit him with the fire blast and potentially die. Okay. Boom! Let's get a mimic. Get his ass. Put on another ice. The next bitch. Hey guys, I got, I'm, I've gotten really fast at killing Radigan. Okay, we don't need to see that whole Elden Beef thing again. Arby's, we have the Elden Beef. All right, Elden Beef. What's up, Elden Beef? What you want? What you want? Want a Big Mac? Want a Whopper Junior? Coming at me like, ah! Yeah, that's right. I forgot about the rings. That's it. That's the Elden Ring. Okay, where he go? He go over here? Okay, I come over here then. I'm coming for you. Now, uh... Okay, we gotta heal up. Uh-oh. He's Elden Beefing! Uh-oh. Alright, Elden Beef. Whee! Hit up. 
Uh oh. Anytime he goes under the water, I'm like, uh, guys. Ow. Because I ran out of. Okay. Here's how. We're, here's why we're gonna do this. Okay, and then we drink the flask, which I probably should have did sooner. Yeah, I knew we would switch to me eventually. Oh, 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 I, I have this move. I have this move. I know how bad it is. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Stay away from me. How do, how, what, what do I do? Okay, there we go. All right, Elden Beef. Uh-oh. No! <gasps> oh, man. Okay, third try. Or third, fourth? I, I don't know. Does that count as a third try on the Elden Beast, or does it count as a fourth try on Radigan? Guess the title was wrong. Three more bosses. Well, kinda. I feel like Radigan is that dude, right? Like, so... Yeah, I lied. I lied in the title. Oh, crap. Uh, Lightning Bolt. Uh, let's just do this one, because I know it stays there a lot longer than... Okay, these, these are the only two buffs I'll do, then. Because everything else can just be... Okay. You know, all things considered. Uh, so I asked this in the beginning. I don't know if, you know, if anybody else has something to say. But how's everybody doing tonight? What's going on with you guys? You know, what are you guys up to? Maxwell, Adele, Burning Souls, Mason Dyson. What are you guys all up to? All right. All right, bro. All right, broski. Time to do this rat again. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Ow again. Stop it. Get some help. You need Jesus. Ow, why me? No! Okay. <laughs> it's like the Elden Drag Queen. Yeah? Yeah, Fuzz, I don't know, you you missed it, but I basically, <laughs> I beat uh, Horolu on, like, my second try, because technically the first try I went in, watched the cutscene, didn't do any of my buffs, and then just died. And then the second one, I applied all my buffs and beat him. Same thing happened with Radigan, and then I got the Elden Beast half health on my, like, second try, and what is it, third or fourth, fifth? I don't know. I, I've lost track, because I don't know who, who counts as what, necessarily. Okay, we're gonna do. We're gonna try to do it all this time. All right, Mike's Dragon Bolt. We got the flame. We got this. We got this. I really should use the one that like makes it so that holy magic doesn't really affect me, because that'd be kind of nice. I don't know why you consume a frozen. Wait, what? Kind of hungry. Frozen Capri Sun. Chocolate eggs. Probably should get more. Wait, what? How slash why do you consume? A f <laughs> oh. Well, all right, icy boy time. I don't think the Elden Beast can be ice bladed, so I'm just not even gonna try with it. I doubt it can be bled. Hey, okay, Skippy Doo, mimic, and now we go beat his ass. You asshole. I forget that that explodes every time. Okay, bud. And we got him with the ice blight, and then we hit... Oh, he's doing the thing. Ow, why me? Oh. Stop. 
Stop. And we hit him with the flame to reset the ice blight. Ow. Well, definitely almost died there. Oh, you can't do that. That's cheating, bro. You can't instant transmission. Oh, now he's going Super Saiyan. Ow. It always gets me. Eh, let's just... Yeah, let's... Okay, ow. Well, this one's going a lot worse. Get off my Mimic! Yeah, this is the worst run I've had. Cool. Let's pop another one of these bad boys. Why we can... Wait, it didn't pop my rune art? You piece of shit! I don't know if this thing has flesh. Do you think I, do you guys think this thing has flesh? What should I use again? What is it, like, weak to? Okay, we'll just battle of attrition it. Ooh. Oh, man, he's going up. Yeah, I don't know if I should use the Ice Katana anymore, so... Let's try hers. I'm just staying the fuck away. Yep. Whee! Take this, Elden Beast. I'm a bit of an Elden Beast myself. Oh god. Finally gonna need that help. Stay behind him. Oh no, he's doing the stars. No, 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 no. Uh, he's immune to all status ailments, strong against all elements, but is equally weak to all physical damage. Oh. Okay. So you just need to hit him hard. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, well then in that case, well... Okay. I'm doing something crazy. I'm getting rid of my fire dagger. Which, honestly... Never mind, I should keep that. Um, uh, but I should use it last. Um, that being said... Um, yeah, I think I kind of know what I want to do. So this, 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 but this, but this, this, but this. Definitely Melania's sword, because it, it's hard. <sighs> but what about this? Wait, does it, is it weak to magically? More like Elden Least. Yeah. Yeah, give him the big smacko. Yeah, okay. Um, but, side note, actually, like, for real, uh, is he weak to magic? Magic? Should you need it? I am available for summon. I don't I don't want to be the boss with a summon. The final boss with a summon, at least. Um, just because I feel like I will regret that. Okay, well then, if this is the case, I don't have very much more of that. So, um, I could try to do Scarlet Rot to it. No, that would be that would happen. And all other elements. It's extremely resist. So, to everything. Okay, okay. So, just hit hard. Hit hard, right? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha! <laughs> oh, wait, I forgot to do my buff thing. Nah, fuck it. <laughs> we'll do it here. We'll do it live. Okay, I can't buff. What am I doing? I am... So, actually, what we'll do is we'll go all the way back here, make sure we have the correct weapons equipped, and then we'll do all of our buffs, because that's how you use a brain 
good with head, Noggin. Oh my god! <laughs> We're doing well, I would say. Okay, let's pop this like it's a pussy. And let's Vikes Dragon Bolt, let's Fire Frenzy Flame or whatever, let's Black Flame, let's, you know, pop one of these bad boys, and then... Oh, and then forget to change to the Holy Golden Order thing, and, uh, and then rest at the Sight of Grey. <laughs> also, we're at nine likes on the video. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. We might as well pop all these rune arcs. We'll probably get more later. There's no reason not to use it. All right. I'm here for you, Radagon. Let's make sure I have my health potion on. Physical damage is what hurts him. Yeah. Vibes. Also, I, I actually ad adore the fact that uh, so many people are texting, uh, messaging in chat. Thank you guys so much. It means a lot. It always does. And I, I feel like it sounds redundant because I say it so much, but I really do. What's up, Radigan? How you doing, bro? You swinging at me, dude? Okay, let's hit the pause button. And let's pop this. Uh, oh, that cleared my lightning. Well, I know this guy has flesh. Believe it or not. Yeah, you just keep bullying my mimic. Ow. Okay. Mimic! It's more. Flame on! Cat Walker. Hi, Cat Walker. I can't read what you're saying yet, because... Yeah. Oh, he's Elden Dingling you. Stop letting him Elden Dingling you. Ow. I think I got Elden Dingling. Kill him. Kill him with the knives. All right. Physical damage overload. Skip the cutscene. Let's get behind him. Yeah. Pop this. Let my mimic deal most of the traumatic stuff. Okay, I think that's all we're getting off. What the hell is that move? Get out of there, mimic! What are you doing? You silly bitch! Huh, get physical damage. Oh. Oh god, I'm in it! Okay, we're gonna pop that off. Oh, he, get, he hit him with the grab attack! Oh no, Minic! No, I need you! I need you just for like a little bit more. Mimic, I need you to be alive. Just really, like, a tad bit. Just dab it more. Just dab it. Dab it more. What are you doing? Oh, he's always oh, ring-a-linging. Ring-a-ling-a-ling. 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 Ah, uh, there you are, you bitch. Oh, crap. I'm gonna regret calling it a bitch. Ah. Gotta steer clear of that. Ow! I didn't do a good job. Ow. How did that happen? Okay. Not doing amazing, I would say. Oh, please stop running away. Can I use my horse? Nope. Ow. Okay. 
Okay. I don't like this whole not having a distraction thing. That kind of blows. So Catwalker, haha, thank you. Uh, beans, dead. Okay, I'm not seeing words. <laughs> uh, okay, wait. So yeah, I'm finally able to see one of your content streams. Hey, hey, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you. Ha ha ha. Dead. Ah, uh, beans. Whoa. Looks like a shiny Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, that's a vibe. Okay, so. Okay, so I am going to definitely. Um, do the, wait, no, past time. Let me do it. Uh, so we need to get rid of this. Uh, who cares about all affinities? Um, greatly increases lightning resistance. Any cool guy over here. Okay. Um, I need, um, holy resistance is what I need. Uh, poison, blah, 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 whatever. H holy damage! Yeah, so what's that? Um, do I have anything else? I thought I did. Guess not. Cool. <laughs> Wicked. Um, wait to summon Mimic until phase two. Yeah, that probably is a power move, but uh, I guess I could finesse around again. I also kind of want to get rid of this one. Uh, I could do, I could do so much more than that. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what would be good against like specifically this boss. Um, alleviates death blight buildup. Yeah, there's that. What about this? Oh, yeah, who cares about that? <sighs> I mean, I could try to use bleed on it. I'm just kidding. I do kind of wish I had more... Yeah, why is there no... I need the super holy. Reduces fall damage. Wait, I didn't realize that that spell did that. Oh, I do I do have the freaking crazy holy damage negation. Oh my god, I'm such a dingit. I'm such a silly dummy head. Okay. And fire resistance. We'll we'll put that up too. Yeah, I okay, so if that is the vote to wait to summon till uh you know, phase two, I am down with the sickness, okay? I am down to try it. One this uh this crap this and then holy damage negation yeah. okay let me sit down hopefully it all stays if it doesn't stay whatever I mean I should probably also just wait to pop the holy damage negation until phase 2 right so but here we go trying to summon mimic in phase 2 um do I want to use any other blights I don't know well, I guess he's undead, so I could use that. Technically. I don't know if he actually is weaker than holy. I doubt he is, because he is the holy golden order or whatever. No. Ah! It's over 10,000 lumens! Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. Waiting. Ow! Oh, man, I shouldn't have jumped. Why did I jump? Hello. All things considered, Rat again, you are very handsome looking this evening. Ow, he doesn't like compliments. Okay, this guy's a dick. Uh-oh. Oh, he got me. Oh, he got me again. Okay. Oh, he's about to punch me in the face, dude. Oh, my God. Okay. I got too used to doing it with the mimic. Now I'm fucking it up. Okay. Well, then, if that's the case, I am going to Ice Blade. 
Yeah, no, I think Ice Blading isn't probably. Yeah, don't know why it does. Wait. It says no one's watching. Yeah, I doubt that because we at one point had like six or seven viewers. I, I would be surprised. I would, you know, I bet we have like about like, mm, uh, let's say seven. Let's say we have seven viewers right now. If you're here, just say hi. <laughs> just all at once. Everybody do it at, at once. Um, Oh, but that being said, okay. I'm just going to do it. No buffs. Try fingers butthole. Oh, that is true. I could try fingers butthole. Hang on. I might come back and try fingers butthole. What's up, Radigan? There's no... How okay. I guess I just hope I survive it. I did. Cool. Ow! <laughs> Don't! Okay, I am hitting B right as he attacks, and I'm just not... I don't have enough time out of the, the animation that I'm previously in, I guess. Because, like, if I... It's funny, because if I wait a millisecond later, I would be out of the animation, and then it would register my B. My B button. But it's not doing that, and I am... A I'm just ass, honestly. I've gotten too... I've gotten too soft. I've gotten soft with the Mimic tier. I also just realized I didn't have my, uh... Whatchamacallit? I didn't have my uh my bloodhound step on right now. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep doing it no buffs. You guys think I should keep doing it no buffs with also no mimic? Kind of looking cool though. You kind of looking cool. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah, see there's already 3. That's already more than I thought were here. So. Yeah. I hate attacks that hit after they've hit. You ass. Hit you with that ice blight. Hit him with the ice blight! <laughs> I don't know why it's not going. Okay. I wonder... Wait, actually, I wonder. No, it probably wouldn't work. Uh, I was just... Wait. Wait, no buffs, no mimic? No buffs, no mimic? Okay. I mean, that'd be kind of hard. Okay, I I'm sick of uh, doing Radigan over and over again, so I think what I might do... I'm definitely not going to do it no buffs. I mean, I'll, I'll try buffs again. I, right now, I'm just playing around with uh, things that I want to test out, I guess. All right, it's never clear when I do that. I feel like I just do a lot of things like that where I, like, I start sucking. But for clarification, I know I'm sucking. I'm doing it on purpose. Let's see how many you take of these. Oh, three. <laughs> cool guy over here. Da -da 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 -da. Ow. Ooh. Ow. Yeah, I knew I, I knew I was gonna die to that because I can't like block it. Oh wait, what am I doing? I guess I could block. Hang on, hang on, we're gonna do something spicy for this, because I've already proven that I can beat this guy. I beat, like, the second time I tried, or third try, time I tried him, I beat him in, like, what, like, 40, like, 20 seconds? Um, I am gonna try something, though. You guys are gonna hate me. No, probably not. That or you guys are gonna think I'm super cool. Probably not, probably not the latter. That's asking for a lot. All right. But I really don't like Melania's sword. Even though it hits hard, it's not worth it. I wouldn't say. Let's try Moonville. I think Moonville is also lighter. Which means that... Um, also, let's raise my poise just a little bit. Because I know Fuzz is in the comments screaming. Boy! 
boys, boys. <laughs> um, so there's that, there's that, there's that, there's that, there's that. Um, wait, am I fat rolling? Did it say? I I do have a heavy load. Fuck. Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay, so I don't. I think ice is a fool's endeavor. So. Heavy, heavy shield plus... No, no, no. I don't want to do it like that. There's there's a lot of things I choose not to do. Like, I could, like... If I went in with this with, like, a shield and a sword just and just blocked, I'd probably beat this, like, the next try. I don't want to do it like that. I, I, I have such a strict way I want to beat bosses that it's, like... I, I basically am always punishing myself. I, I am... I always have, like, 300% handicap on and... It's my fault. It's just what I choose to do. What's up, idiot? Get parried. Ow. He doesn't like that I parried him. He really doesn't. Oh my god. Oh, come on. I got that. Ow. This is more just a test run. Yep, he got me. And I'm not going to survive. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. But I am fucking dead. Oh, I'm alive! Well, I, okay. <laughs> oh my god, that was funny. I don't know why that was so fucking funny to me. I'M ALIVE! <laughs> Just, uh, okay. We're gonna try it again. Because I'm actually having fun with that. I'm gonna parry this guy. I, I'm gonna get good at parrying him. You guys ready for this? All of these next attempts don't count. I am 100% I am aiming to get good at this one thing. Because I have decided to be stupid mode. I'm going sticko mode! I'm not. I'm actually just going I'm in dumbass mode. But... I am ready. I do want to see how, like, what does parrying him accomplish? Okay. I see the foot go up and I press B when he's about to slam it, but... Ow, I should just roll behind him. Why don't I just do that? Yeah, I'm dead. I knew I couldn't get the heal off. I, I should have went to dodge his next attack, but I'd already pressed X, and so by the time, like, my character was done doing his animation, it just drank. And so, he got crunk in the club with T-Pain, like, baby girl, what's your name? Thank you for dropping by, all things considered. I know you know that I can do this, by the way, so... Uh, you've pretty much seen me almost kill both bosses. I just... Now I'm doing it for fun. If I... Like I said, if I just serious up half of the time, I could beat the boss. I just don't want to. I just don't want to do it like that. Okay, okay, bud. Come on, stop. I hate that I have to do this light thing every single time. What you want? What you want? What you know about me? Ow, fucker. I saw it coming. I even dodged. I just... Can't parry it. Yep, and I... It doesn't matter how much I spam the B button. He just doesn't want to roll. Yeah. Oh well. Okay, fine. Maybe I'll maybe I'll just take off the shield. I do want to parry him though. I want to finesse this man. It's just dumb that I why can't if I parry him, which I've done like what three times now. Um, why doesn't it uh, switch my call it? Why doesn't it um? Why doesn't it give me the guard break? Kind of stupid, right? Anyone else think that's stupid? I think it's pretty stupid. Uh, yeah. Okay. No buffs. No buffs again. I also low-key kind of want to see how weak he is to lightning. This isn't lightning. Oh, come on. I literally walked... The second I started walking towards him, I pressed B, and I still got hit. Man, we thought the same thing, bro. Eh, he's not really 
See, that worked. Why? Why follow that up? Take all my flasks. So I, I just, right there, I tried to dash and then jump. Okay. Please stop Dragon Ball Zing me. that mattered is what hit me. Yeah. Well, thanks for tuning in. Have a good night. Thank you, Fuzz, also for saying good night to them. Sicko mode of you. Sicko mode of you. Oh, I wonder if I can re-summon my Mimic in Phase 2. Because I don't see why... Because it's a different boss fight, right? Is that a thing? I don't know. Probably not. Which sucks. Um, I think the Ice Blight is fine. All things considered, well, oh, it is lighter. Oh, weird. Wait a second. Buzz, should I try Land Shark on him? Should I go try Land Shark? I, I just need one vote for Land Shark, and we'll go do it on him. Honestly, also the seal. Uh, yeah. You know, I just did that totally wrong, and that's what I meant to do. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then we'll do the buffs. We'll do the buffs again, because the buffs were helping a lot. The only reason we're having trouble with this boss fight is because it's back-to-back. -back. Like, I feel... I confident saying that because we beat radikin's ass like we fucking pummeled him into the fucking ground holy shit i've already proven that i dick this man down but unfortunately uh yeah it's unfortunately the elden beast part that's the part that's kind of a challenge so you know and I'll, I'll go. also i'm doing this first phase now without the mimic which is you know now also pro proving to be problematic but i'll take it more seriously you know this is probably the first time i've actually gone in solo with buffs focus up jeffrey do it the right way What's up, handsome? Yeah, I always tank the hit for that one because I don't know what else to do. Stop doing that. He's such a dick right now. What the fuck? He knows. He knows I know. No, stop. Dick. Stop doing things you haven't been doing. Okay. Stop teleporting, you penis monkey. Ow, my ass. Oh, God. Do I survive that? I guess. This was easier when he was directing his tax not at me. Uh, fuck. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. You fucking meanie. You meanie head. You fucking ass. Yep, I knew it. 
Okay. That was just my stupidity. Stop doing that! What the fuck? Does he... Did, did he teleport this much for you guys? Like, those of you who have beaten it, did he do this for you? Yeah. Because, like, we can all agree, the first 30 times that I've... I don't know, it's probably only been, like, 15 times that I've fought him now. But, like, he didn't teleport that much at all. He probably teleported twice each time. This fucking round, he just teleported, like, 27 times. He literally, every time I went for an attack, fucking he teleported. He's Jade Egg. Yeah, whatever. Okay. I just suck. I'm making his use of him. Okay. Yeah, he gets really teleporty after a while for no reason. Well, it's not even after a while. I killed him faster than that before, and it was perfectly fine. Ugh, fine. I'll... Hang on. Fuzz, can you look me up a spot that is good for farming root resin? I'm going to keep playing, but can you look that up for me real quick? Because if, if you can find that, I have an idea. Well, because I'll go back to using frost. I just don't want to use all my frost stuff. Because it seems to work really well against him. Root resin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing for making um, uh, greases. That's, that's how you make the greases. Doot doot resin, if you will. Okay, so we got a f we got a lightning blade. So it doesn't look like I can also put lightning on this as well. But I can put holy and lightning. Or what was I doing? I can put frost lightning on. For some reason, those two things work together. They synergize. Well, I lost my I lost my lightning because I switched fucking things. Yep. Oh my god, you're a dick. Stop stomping. Yeah, I don't what am I supposed to do there? Is there is there like a note or something that I was supposed to read? my flasks. That time it was my fault. I walked right into that. Yeah, I want to die. I don't... I don't wanna... Okay, wait. Apparently there's some spawns just north of the War Master Shack? Okay. So, north of the War Master Shack, I'll start using ice again, because I was doing better with ice, and honestly, my whole build is centered around ice, and so if I'm not using the build, why... Bye. Um, okay, so that's what we'll do. Warmaster Shaq. Where you at? Where you at, Shaq man? Where you at, Warmaster Shaquille O'Neal? Uh, Warmaster Shaq. So you said just north of the Warmaster Shaq. Okay. Or also, while while you're at it, while you can look stuff up, um, can you also look up just if there's some place I can buy uh ice ice grease or frost grease or whatever it's called uh rawa fruit well so there's rawa fruit what do i need yeah I specifically need root resin but wait what where does root resin what does root resin necessarily look like because that's that's the other problem i'm having no, these are more rawa fruit, right? Yeah. Root resin. Oh, this looks like root resin. No, it's gold tinged excrement. 
That's poop. That's, that's dookie. What's up, Splody? Boom. Free. Free buns. Root resin! Okay. Well, so that's just on the ground. It, it does look kind of like shit. Wait, is this a deer? No. Okay. Is there any more? Does it just say there's like three? I wonder. I mean, whatever Rawa fruit is. Can't find anything about merchant selling. No, not selling root resin, selling the frost grease that I'm trying to make. Yeah, sorry, sorry to make you my my like errand person right now, but also there is literally some right here. I don't know why I walked all the way the fuck over there. I mean grease. Oh, okay. Well, on the bright side, I realize that I'm an idiot, so. Because now I can just do this. I went all the way up there for some reason. No. Oh, my God. I have nine points or whatever. Okay. The ice grease is the best grease. Well, so then also, so if I don't need anything more than just my my grease that's on my weapon or whatever, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to Ashes of War, and rather than use ice on that, I do like the Blade Dancer ability. That is kind of dope, but I think I can change the affinity now. Um, I don't know. Yeah, Keen. Do it. Boom. Let's do that. And now, let's double check. I mean, they're almost the same, right? Roughly. Yeah, I'd rather use these. Okay. And then, where are we going? Back up here. Elden Throne. Alright, now I just gotta beat it. Now I just gotta beat it. I could also put a uh, parry on my dagger rather than using a shield. That actually might be... Mm, hang on. Let's try it. Why not? Who, who's it going to hurt? What does barricade shield do again? Uh, skill may from, uh, focus your energy into shield temporarily, hardening it, hardening, it, hardening it to deflect blows. Oh my god. Stores HP. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, no. Okay. So let's take this off, and rather than use that ability, let's use regular parry. Take that off. And put my parry dagger on. And I think we're good. Now I can parry if I really need to, but I don't think that's the move. Not every time, at least. Um... Also, the reason I kind of went back on saying, like, oh, I'm not going to do this, basically, where I use this, is because I didn't realize it was two boss fights back-to-back. -back. The fact that they're doing that to me, I can do this to them. So, if you're just tuning in, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Also, check out our Discord. Boom. Thomas Jenkins. I suck at parrying. Oh. Yeah, I know. Parrying's kind of a... Kind of a art form in and of itself, I would say. Because everyone screamed at me not to do it back when I played Dark Souls, and I got really good at it. And I was really good at it for the first couple episodes, like back when I was still doing like a Let's Play kind of style of this game, back when I was like editing and stuff. But, um, I mean, you can always go back and watch that see for yourself. But um, I got kind of, I started sleeping on it a little bit. Okay, buddy. second I drink this, he's going to do something. 
There's one. There it is. God. I was doing really good in the beginning of that, right? Like, and does everyone agree that in the first, like, half of that, I was kicking the shit out of him? And then I just lost it. I lost it. <sighs> Damn it. Uh, fuck. Okay. Oh, yeah, we got to do our buffs. <laughs> yeah. Boom. The lightning. Fire or fire resistance. Like, um, or this is the fire resistance. That was fire affinity. Okay. Yeah, your dodges were on time, sir. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the. Thank you for humoring me. And I think I think ice blighting him at first is fine, but I think coming back and you know um, I think doing it too much is kind of stupid. Come on, I was spamming dodge, dude. Yeah. Okay, okay, so I think actually rolling through that is better. Well, I lived. Okay, now we just can't use any more health potions. I say, as he fucking does that. Fuck. He's getting all teleporty again. Fucking bitch, Radigan. Funny, because, like, why? Why, Radigan? Why? Yeah, I don't. Wait, I don't know the hesitation. Yeah, I don't know something. I, was, I, I hesitate sometimes way later. I think it's because I'm also doing this for too long now. I need to just stick to something. Doing that thing that I did with Melania, too. Also, yay, I get so much more of this now. Okay. Boom. Maybe I have too many things on. Okay, fuck this. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna abuse the... Whatchamacallit? The... Flame of the Red Mains, because we already did this um, once. So, yeah. So, uh, Thomas Jenkins, uh, you know, if you're just getting here right now, uh, the first, like... 
So the boss, that the Horalu boss, the big wrestler guy, um, he went down pretty easily. I basically went in once, fooled around a little bit too much, and then died. And I was like, okay, well, whatever. And that was the cutscene. And then I beat him instantly. And then we came in for Rat again. I fooled around again, like a dumbass. And, uh, and then beat him instantly. And then we got to the Elden Beast, we got it to half health. And then the next time we fought Rat again, we basically beat him in like 20 seconds. <laughs> okay, I just need to focus. I need to focus and not get hit. That's it. I'm also going to try to use Flame of the Red Mains a little bit. I, I do want to get a Frost proc off on him. I'm just going to try to really focus here. Okay, sometimes he goes into that. Sometimes he just lets me fucking attack him for like 25 minutes. Okay. I did take less damage, though, because of that. Yeah, there it is. There it is! Uh, I mean, I only used two flasks there. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. I didn't end up uh, abusing Flame of the Red Mains, though. So, that sucks. Oh, well. We might as well do it this time. I keep saying that. I keep saying that and not doing it. But, yeah, let's do this. That is not the... Okay. You know what? Fuck it. There we go. If we're resetting our stats and or not stats, uh, you know, mana and stuff. Anyways, then who cares? Mm, do I parry? Do I not? Do I parry? Do I not? Do I parry? Do I not? I don't know. I mean, we might as well. Right, right in the beginning. Get off all the damage. All the damage. Okay, skip again. Actually, no. Hey, okay, what was that? Oh, I, t I thought I could get off a hit and then dodge. Yeah, we got that. Okay. Okay. And shit. He's gonna do that thing again. Oh. Nope. Okay, and then back to focusing. Yeah, what the f Yeah, his little delays are really bad. Yeah, your dodges. I don't know that. Um, in general, rolling into enemies is better rolling because rolling deals a little bit of poise damage, which... Yeah, yeah, Fuzz. Are you, I, I don't know if you're telling me that. I definitely already know that. <laughs> Some attacks are, like, hard, though, to deal with because I do not know where I'm going wrong with them.
Dodges may be better than parrying. Yeah, you know, screw it. Let's take off the... It, it, I just have too much shit on my inventory, I think, is what it is. That's not helping very much. And then, you know, if we get a freeze proc, we get a freeze proc, right? So. It is bad, though, that I took all the ice off my second sword, then. If we're still going to be going for ice. Icy boy. He recovered quick. Yeah. I hate the stomp because it's so it's so hard to react to because it's fast. Oh. Yeah, I thought, ah, fuck, I got greedy again. It's because he takes so long to finish that. I think going behind him in general is very good. No way, bro. I knew I was too close. Okay, we're at nine flasks. There we go. Was I out of stamina there? I think I was. I knew I needed to heal there. Yeah, it was over. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Hobo. My, ma my main thing is when I start getting down to seven flasks, because, you know, I start with 12. So if I only have 12 flasks, I want to beat Radigan, especially because I'm not using Mimic as well now. I want to beat Radigan with at least eight or nine, right? Like, that's reasonable, I would feel. And again, I could just use the shield, and I could just walk in there and not take damage, but, uh, I don't want to do that. He was getting away with too much nonsense. Yeah, I would say so. Oh, wait. You know what? Screw this. Okay, so I can I can do all that over again. But I'll, I'll do what I just was saying, and I will put my ice back on my other Uchi Katana. Because that was kind of the point of this other one. And so, yay, we got Ice Blade going. And what we'll do is we will just drink the stuff again. To reset everything. Okay. I got a good feeling about this run. I don't know why. I just I probably shouldn't. You know, just because I said that, I'm going to pop a rune arc. I'm probably wrong about having a good feeling, because I shouldn't. Look at all the buffs I have right under my health bar. Man, that's just stupid. <laughs> I think uh, Vike's Dragon Bolt, I think it actually increases my um, carry capacity as well, which is just, just one of the weirdest things that a lightning spell could do, I feel. Like, I mean, especially one that just has so many other things going on with it. If I'm behind him, why does his stomp still affect me? <sighs> you fucking cock. Behind him, fuck you. Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so that seems like one of those attacks that maybe because I got closer, I uh took more damage. Yeah. Bad pace. Um, with that being said though, you know, um what the fuck? Okay. Um with that being said. I think if I would have nailed those rolls there, because that that was on me. If I if I would have nailed the rolls there like I did in the previous run that he did that, then I would have easily had that. But oh well. I definitely didn't use a lot of flasks. Okay. And I don't know if I should pop another rune arc. Seems kind of pointless. But what I can do is say, fuck this Erd Tree's favor and put on my old rune. Yeah, see what that does? Boosted the hell out of my health. That's what it did. I apparently take more damage though, so it's like kind of worthless. Alright, Radigan. I almost dropped my soda there. If you were curious what that sound was. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? He, has he ever opened with that? Well. Well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. I think Reese was onto something with me not using the Mimic until later, but honestly, like, I, I got too used to it. Fuck. Hmm. I don't have very many rune arcs left. Okay. I I, I really appre put the old rune but wait, put the old rune back? Wait, what do you mean? Like the rune arc? I'll pop a rune arc. I got 12 left. I mean, there's not much else after this that I need them for, so... There's literally nothing left after this. <laughs> I got rid of Earth Tree. Oh, come on, I fucking rolled. And I rolled again, but it didn't go through. Bro. There's that, I guess. Just an instant one of those, which he's pretty much never done. What do you guys think the chances are of me beating the entire Elden Beast with a... Uh... Yeah. I mean, I'm not even going to. And then took a lot of damage, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buzz, I don't want to take you up on coming to help, but... <laughs> I mean, ultimately, if I can't get it done within a timely manner. At least not this way, because, you know, I'm not using Mimic. It's going to be so weird when I finally do get the Elden Beast this way, because... I will basically, uh... Like, be so shook that I have to go to my Mimic now that, like, it's just weird. Alright. My only other idea that I kind of want to play around with is using the fists. <laughs> I think after this one, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's what I want to do next. Oh, good dodges. Why does that hit me even if, like I'm still mid roll? Yeah, I just ah, fuck. Is it my B button? Is my controller just like starting to fade? I don't actually fucking know. Cause my my back button should be working better than this. I feel like my reaction time wasn't that off in the beginning. I mean you guys were watching me like finesse him. I just suddenly can't dodge at certain points and it's like weird. Ah, oh yeah, that's right. I said I was going to try some. That being said... I do kind of want to... Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. Uh, Ashes of War, we're changing this though, because I don't need the Lightning Bolt. I need... The Horfrost Stomp. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, I might just be getting too anxious, to be honest. You're probably right. Also, I might as well do the buff still, right? I also have one more idea after this, but... Well, one other thing that I could adjust. I mean, I could do it right now. I just... I don't want to go back to the race again. Not anymore. Yeah, you know, this is probably also really stupid, but... It is what it is. Still need to be able to Bloodhound step, I just realized, but... Okay. Okay, we already got the proc. Ow. think I was gonna live. Ah, fuck, dude. Sometimes he gives you huge windows, sometimes he gives you, like, no window. It's, like, inconsistent. Okay, I'll try, I'll try that thing that I said I was going to do. Ah, I just keep forgetting certain things, I think. If I could just decide on one specific build and then, like, do it right, then it'd be easier, but I keep changing stuff around too much. Um, I don't think Vike's Dragon Bolt is actually doing anything. Fuck this. Okay, uh, so we'll do that. And then do this. Because, honestly, my health flasks... Wait, what? Oh, duh. It's because I have my fists out. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. Alright, and then I'll do a rune arc for the fists, why not? Why not, brother? So let's double fist it. Yeah, and I can't put the, the ice grease on either. I really thought I could get it on that. I think I am going to die from this. Yeah. Oh, boy. Playing Mike Tyson's punch out now. Yeah, I just wanted to see. Because I've, I've done so many other bosses like that, that. But to be honest, I don't think that would work as well for the Elven Beasts. Crazy idea. Yeah, no, I, I was maining the fist for like a long time during this playthrough at one point, And I just like wanted to see if I could do it. But fuck that. Okay, it's not working. Um, I, think I, I think I just got to stick to stick to one thing. Um, now I'm debating though. You know what? This this does do more raw damage. Fine, whatever. And then what else we got? We got the fire. We got that. We got that. Okay. Oh, and yeah. Let's fucking go do this. Yeah, I'm still very unclear on how delayed you guys actually are. Because, yeah, it literally could be super delayed or it could be just right on time. I don't know. Because you guys responded to the fist thing like way after I already put them away. Why am I not dodging? What the fuck? <laughs> okay. <sighs> I don't know why I suddenly can't dodge. Am I experiencing a delay? I wonder. see um we could just do this there we go but now i got melania sword as well i i hate having this much stuff honestly but you know who cares i think i can do it hey thank you Pippa. thank you 
I need to keep... I also need to remember to put my healing flask on at the end of, like, all of that shit. Yep, you started with the stump. Oop. Oh, fuck. I came out of a jump and I realized... And ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Using one flask. Have I killed him yet? Yeah, no, I, I killed him like about like five times. Like I killed him. I watched the cutscene. I dicked around. I got killed. And then I killed him like five times in a row. But that was with Mimic. And Reese suggested that I use Mimic now, which is a good idea. And so... Now Mimic can actually survive a little bit. But what I should do... Oh my god! I was... Oh my god! I was paying so much attention to trying to get my buffs out again so that Mimic could, you know, benefit from them that I just totally forgot to dodge that attack. I, like, for some reason forgot that it does that sweep attack sometimes right after it does the space beam. But I have proven now that I can easily whoop Radigan's ass if I just focus up. Also, if my dodge buttons work. But that just sounds like an excuse. Okay. And then, so, yeah. Pop another one of these. Wow, yeah, I know. I got fucking destroyed right in the beginning. At least we got to the Elden Beast again. You know. What is that? Like the fifth try on Elden Beast or whatever? I don't know. Something like there. Okay. Now we pop this. Oh my god, with that hit, look at how fucking close that is. Giant tree dragon is angry. Yeah. Yeah, no, I definitely, I definitely have the rhythm now. I can, I can be ready. See, this was the problem that I had with Melania. It wasn't that I was having a hard time with her. It was that I wasn't doing things intentionally. And because of that, 
I kept switching around what I was doing. I kept waiting for chat to decide what I should do. I kept, you know, just switching my weapons around constantly. And just like, because of that, I keep just setting myself into these weird, like, oh God, where are my weapons? Ah, what, I'm switching to the flask. I, oh, oh shit. Ah, uh, uh, God. And then I like fluster myself. You was torturing, you was torturing me? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. I think we'll, I think we'll be good with this. Yeah, I, I definitely need to hit that black blade because it helps. It helps a lot. It makes him weaker. It like reduces his overall health. Oh, I didn't, oh fuck, whatever, I don't care. I don't need the infinite stamina necessarily. If anything, having the um, extra, whatchamacallit, the extra uh, damage resistance. Okay, now I'm fucked up. Why it... <sighs> okay. I do want to try... I want to change one thing. I want to change one thing about this whole thing I'm doing, right? All right. At least... Wait, what was I, what was I doing? Okay. It was something I wanted to change. Crap. Oh, yeah, it was this. Okay. Um... Rather than doing more damage on progressive hits, which I don't think benefits me too much, necessarily, I will... Um, okay, what's the... What was the one I was thinking? Oh, yeah, this one. There we go. Okay, and then... Because I do, I do too many jump attacks to not have the jump attack talisman on. I am not going to have enough magic left. Lose the, I lose the damage, lose the damage resistance of uh, the flask when I do that. That's what I lose. I think I lose a few other buffs as well when I sit at a grace, but you know, it's whatever. I, I I'm doing it this way because this way I can apply them later. It's a little easier. Also, Elden Beast sits still long enough that like I don't think. He did that off rip. The dick. Dude, what is this combo that you've never done? He's probably done it once. Um, God? He should- killing him should reset your flasks. Yeah, I died. I mean, I'm definitely getting it down 
I'm getting so good at this fight that I'm like, you know, like getting to the point where I really don't need Mimic. Which is the way that I normally prefer to do it anyways, but it does kind of suck that it, ta it is taking this long to do something I've already done like four or five times. Honestly, this part I hate the most. I hate the repetition of this part. Did I just do that one twice? No, I don't think I did. Alright. And I'll wait to do it. I'll wait to pop it. He was moving real different that time. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. He keeps changing up what he's doing. Why? What an asshole. Oh, I didn't sit at the fucking thing. God damn it. Okay. Okay, he doesn't like when I do that that early. And I was going to dodge again. I saw his knee go up. Okay. Part 11 last. Ugh, fuck, I hate that one. Because I never expect it. Because I'm like, what is he doing? And my brain... Because he does it so rarely, I think. Yeah, I don't know what I was doing there. <sighs> yeah, if you're in the middle. I agree about the flask situation. Yeah. Uh, what, what specifically? You mean like that? I I should try to have like more for the th for the next phase. Because I agree. Well, because also I need an extra one to be able to heal the effects of um, using the Mimic, right? So. Uh, what do I do? Okay, wait a second. If anything, I don't think I need the fire resistance. I don't think that's helping very much. Um, I think if anything, if I do anything at all, I think what I should do I should maybe redu reduce even more holy, like, negation, right? Like, as overkill as that is. Also, fuck Melania's sword. Even though it does more damage, I hate switching through it. That's also fucking me up. Okay, and now this time, I should, uh, sit down. Oh, oh, that it should reset. Yeah, no. Hell yeah. Like, even if you get, like, two flasks back each, right? Like, you get, like, one blue flask and, like, one red... Or two red flasks. Like, that'd be fucking okay. I could just be making excuses, though. I wish this didn't take so fucking long. Like, if I could just walk in there, that'd be nice. Um, so I hit the left trigger there. Wait, Sir Cheese a lot. Yo, what platform are you playing on? PC. I am playing on PC. Okay.
Good morning from Germany. Oh, sweet. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. It's always good to see new faces, especially like uh, people from out of town, per se. Um, what time is it for, uh, for you right now in Germany? If I can even ask that question before this takes off. It's hard for me to keep up with your buffs. Oh, like how many of them there are. See, I think I need to do this. Oh, come on, I dodged. Uh, I'm hitting the button. It's just not working. It's because I'm, I'm hitting it at the wrong time. I know that. asshole why are you doing moves you haven't done what did I provoke like I don't get what I'm doing 8 24 in the morning and you're checking on YouTube well thank you I appreciate that So that's damage resistance. This is uh, attack up. This is holy damage negation. This is defense and attack up. This is holy damage negation as well, but greater. And then now we are back at the black blade. The black blade reduces the enemy's health. How many bosses do you have left? I have one. I have Radigan and technically the the Elden Beast or whatever. Um, I've already beaten Radigan. I, I've smoked Radigan, but that was with the help of Mimic Tear. Um, I am getting pretty decent at, um, just fighting him. Yeah. Uh, but the problem is I'm trying to do it without really any of the mimic help or whatever. Please don't go. Okay. Well, I barely took damage from that. That was kind of nice. Come on, I hit dodge. Take this time to drink. The fact that he's allowed to come out of an attack swinging is kind of bullshit. Like. I had enough time to dodge after that. I definitely didn't. Stop throwing these fucking bolts of lightning at me, you fucking cocksucker. And stop doing that! I think I was actually doing better when I had the other talisman on. The damage increases over time. See, that attack he should not be able to come out of swinging. See, oh, ah, I already expressed my hate for that. The attacks that um attack after they're done, like, ugh, it's so annoying. Because it's like, I dodged the attack. What was I supposed to do? Like, I obviously know I'm supposed to dodge behind him, but it's hard to do that in the moment because it's unclear when that specific version of that attack is going to happen. I'm sure there's a tell, but I'm not a speedrunner.
It's like he has no stagger. Yeah, I know. I parried him like four, t three or four times. I think it was three. But, um, and like, it does nothing. It literally does nothing. Like, why does it do nothing? I parried him. Give me my win. <laughs> Give me my Vic, Vic Roy on that. I deserve to be Fortnite dancing on his corpse. Okay, what's up, bitch? I like when he opens with that. That's kind of nice. Okay, I hate when I get hit by all of that. Up he goes. Roll. I couldn't see him for a second. Oh, I dodged. attack that he knows I can't really deal with. I just need to get away from him. Fuck you, Radigan. Fuck you, dude. are still on if you're getting sitting at the grates so some of them do some of them carry over oh my god why i swear to god every time i fight the elden beast <laughs> don't say that fuzz <laughs> you know it's late and you're about to be like i'm seeing it when you send it and I'm just I know I've already disappointed you. <laughs> but I do think I, I do think I'm getting better. So I am getting better at just the fight. Um Which is saying something. Cause I am starting to just schmeck him. believe in you okay well keep believing in me because i i can get to the elden beast my issue is i don't know what to do when i'm at the elden beast i guess i should just keep hitting him the way i was i know that i know i know better but like i also have no more ice blade but does anyone actually know if that's doing a lot is that doing a lot do you guys see like if it's not doing a lot then i do not care I still need to get it at some point. You need, still need to get what? Oh, come the fuck on. Yeah, fuck you, Radigan. I don't think I... I mean, I guess he has that health hell. But, like, I was still thinking we were in the beginning of the fight. For him to just teleport like that, that was so... That caught me so fucking off guard. Uh, The, DO, the DOT is decent, but again, the damage in the Elvis Beast high is... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Hmm. What are we doing here? Hmm. Yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna keep doing the buffs, because it, it is working. Like I said, I just need to stick to one thing.
Dude got Superman poise? Yeah, fucking tell me about it. Oh, brother. No, fuck this guy. We're just going in and we're gonna ch we're gonna do a little cheesy nonsense. But it's probably not gonna work because I'm totally changing what I'm doing. I'm out of ice, so I have like nothing better to do. Yep. Fuck you, Radigan. Dickhead. There it is. I don't know why I think that'll work sometimes, because it never does. Okay, we're at nine flasks. No, oh, no way he just fucking did that. You see you see this man just teleport and then just suddenly Oh my god, what a cocksucker, dude. Okay, so that thing that I haven't really had any trouble dodging, yeah, suddenly I had trouble dodging it. Tried it again. What do I do? Because he's just going to keep doing this nonsense. Now I'm at six. I have exactly half the flasks I need. Bullshit. I'm behind him and I got hit by that. Fuck you. Fuck you. Well, I'm gonna need full health for this fight. Why am I on my dagger? I'm gonna die. Okay, well I might as well try it without Mimic because I only have four flasks. Or trying not to get hit, but that's not gonna fucking happen. So, is there a way to dodge that attack without Bloodhound Step? Because if there is, I'd love to know that. Maybe, maybe I should pop Mimic a little bit before the end of the Radigan fight, because then that'll be... What do you guys think of that? The Sky Beam? Yeah, I don't know how to fucking dodge it. I still have no idea how to deal with that. I don't think these stacks are... Without Bloodhound Step, uh, Tops Barrier, I have literally no idea how you're supposed to do that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, like, impossible. Uh, it's bullshit is what it is. Run? I... Yeah! <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, okay, maybe you should stay back and learn his moves. I do know his moves. Like, I went into... I've already beaten him, like, six or seven times. 
like Radigan specifically, I just, I, it's just the divine or the Elden Beast or whatever. I guess I could also be using Bloodhound Step in this fight a lot more. I just don't see the reason because I've already got him down to like finessing him. Okay, uh, yeah, he doesn't always do the second half. And then we drink. You're a dick. Uh, I love getting hit by a move I dodged. There it is. Oh, wow. I got the Frost proc without... Yeah. I should always assume he's going to. What? <laughs> Just running sideways. Well, what I was trying to do there, I don't know if you guys could tell, but I uh, every time the beams were coming in, I would actually dodge towards them because then if they were going in a linear path, it's, it's better to dodge through them. Especially if I Bloodhound Step, it'd be better. But... I don't want to waste all my Bloodhound step, and I also can't uh, do a double take and check my FP, because if I suddenly run out of uh, Bloodhound step right at the end there, I kind of screw myself, and it makes the whole thing kind of pointless. If the sky beams come, yeah. Like, I don't think there's anything wrong with a lot of my tactics. I think for the most part, especially for Radigan. Radigan, I spanked that fucking baby bitch on his fucking face. It's just occasionally he throws in a move that he hasn't been doing for the past, like, nine runs. And then it's kind of annoying. Maybe I'll pop another rune arc. Or maybe I won't. Luckily, that didn't even use my... Oh, I thought I could get the dodge off at the end there. Because I've done that before. Ah, I love it. Mm. He saw I was healing. He didn't like that. He doesn't even go into the air after that, then. Unless... I mean, he just did there, but he doesn't go into it, the air immediately after, otherwise... Uh, yeah, of course. I've noticed I do way worse whenever I pop a, a rune arc. Drink faster! Drink faster! Oh, well. It happens. It happens. Radigan is a sob so quick. Okay. I'm trying to just think about what I should be doing. And I could put on a boost to non-physical damage, which would just help, and it would totally... Yeah, I mean, that would kind of help. I mean, this will bring down my stats, but I was doing it fine before then, so it's not like that's a big deal. Um, I mean, I'm not really having a problem with stamina. Hmm. I don't think. So I guess we could do that. 
Here, let's let's try that for a little, little bit. And then what we'll do we will Yeah. I'm gonna pop this. 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 Might as well just try it all at once. Now that I'm out of this, I guess I could... Yeah. I guess I could switch it up. Um... I mean... Is he weak to dragon? Uh, also, I'm walking into a wall. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, I think this is fine. I think what we got going is fine. Oh, but wait. Okay. You're a dickhead. I should have really healed first. Other. Yeah. There's yeah, there's not much I can do about that. Not much I can do about that. I didn't even use the the holy thing I put on, yeah. I need to I need to pull out like all of the things in my arsenal at once, because if I don't do that, then I'm just gonna suffer. My problem is I keep forgetting shit. Okay, let's do this one. Let's do a physical attack up, and then this one, and then maybe this one. I'm just gonna mix up the order because sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes spells like overlap each other, but they sometimes can be bypassed, like from doing that if you do them in a different order. Like Vike's Dragon Blade, or whatever the thing that makes you all red lightning. Um, that one, if you do it too early. Or if you do it first, then it doesn't get overridden. But if you do it late, then it gets overridden by a lot of other things. Oh, I'm a turtle. Yeah, that really feels like it's doing more damage, Talisman. I saw him there, and I just didn't dodge for something. Wow, I really got hit by that. past like what 10 attempts i probably haven't been hit by that i don't even know if i've ever been hit by that attack where he just like slams the ground but like just so deliberately i've definitely been hit by the ones where he like baits it like the secondary one but he just like smacked me maybe i'm seeing things wrong because it's, di it's very different in the heat of battle i could be seeing things wrong because when i watch other youtubers and stuff i know that i see things and i'm like did they notice that But, all things considered, I fucking, yeah, I, I don't know. 
I, here, for, well, actually, maybe not. For the sake of being able to do it, I'm gonna summon Mimic first. Yeah. I think that's probably a move. Yeah, so let's go back to the original way that I did it, the way that I basically did it on my first try. Because that was way more effective. I, I literally almost beat it on my, like, third attempt because of this. Come on, Mimic. I just need a second. I fucking dodged into it? Are you serious? <laughs> okay. So that sucks because that was the that was the issue I was having. Okay. So because I can't dodge directly behind him, like the game is designed to be able to let me do. Why did I jump so far? Yeah, fuck him up. I wish I could heal my Mimic. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now I gotta get back to use being used to the fucking Mimic. God damn it. Yeah, it feels cleaner just to do it that way, I think, though. But I also can do this real quick, um, because that was actually being very effective. So let's go back to the War Master Shack and get more because that shit was dope. The ice. Ice! That's the way to go. I mean, that's what I'm, again, that's what I'm built for. I don't know why I'm not using it like that. Ooh, we got a, we got a few. We got another two. What is that? Like four every time? I probably should have found uh like found like a spot where I could do this like earlier. Like way earlier in the game. Like, different streams almost. Okay, so let's item craft. Wait, that's all I can make? My... I think I'm out of the other thing. Oh. I mean, at least I have some. Okay, I have nine left to do it, so... And that should be all I need. Especially because we've learned so much. We've learned so much about the fight. I mean, needlessly, because again, I probably could have beat it on my, like, fifth or sixth try if I just... for the mimic. I just don't know why. Now I'm experimenting. I'm low-key having fun, though. So, part of the reason why I keep doing it. Okay. And I think we got it. I think we got it. Um, ew, real quick, I want to also check. Yeah, it's, yeah, I'm gonna keep on Alicus. I don't have a lot of these left. Other than that. Brother.
dude. Definitely had that dodge. Uh, I knew I was gonna fucking get hit by that. I thought I could land and then roll. Oh, I don't know. Oh, we got him. Okay, skip this cutscene as well. Okay, this time I'm just gonna get up close. Alive. No, you won't. I'm hopelessly optimistic. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Come on. Mimic, no, you fucking idiot. Oh my god, I hate stupid shithead. And just like that. All because I wanted to prove that I could beat Radigan consistently without Mimic. Uh, man, that took way longer than it should have. But we did it. We beat the game. Okay. So now is where the fun stuff starts to happen, right? Or... Well, if this is a... What the f... Summon rock... Oh, this is where all the stuff happens. Hang on, give me a second. Give me a second, dog. 
GG. Yeah, see, like, I, I, I just, I knew if I used Mimic right away, I would have, because, again, like, I, I want to say, like, between my third attempt and my sixth attempt, I got the Elden Beast down to, like, maybe a sixth of its health, right? Like, a sixth of its health. So I knew I could do it. Like, it that wasn't the issue. Obviously, I, like, 100% 180'd, like, what I ended up, like, trying to do or whatever. I don't know what I'm saying right now. I'm, like, focused on too much other, other stuff. But, like, I 100% knew I could do it. I was just doing it the hard way because I'm a dumbass. Um... I don't know, uh, that barely is anything. I mean, I could end the game right now, but let's... I definitely want to go see what's at the round table, if there's any, like, follow-up stuff or, or the problem. But I can go use the Elden Beast thing to <laughs> receive the per or remember. Um, why is this good? Oh, this is the Wave of Gold. Yeah, I want that basically so you know we did it we did it okay i do want to get my i you know before we get into new game plus i might as well go also get my decks up because it is one away from hitting the soft cap and so i just that while it's easy you know and so you clapped the cheeks this time yeah well yeah i again i just went to the same bot okay whatever here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go over here we're gonna go. We're gonna get the Elden Beast Sword or whatever the frick it's called. This the uh, Sacred Relic Sword, whatever. Okay. What? Oh, it's on Marine Ancient Dragons. But okay. Whatever. And we can get more of those later. But now, so the reason that this sword is good, by the way. So if you have a farm spot, which most people kind of have the same farm spot, I just want to show this off, because if you don't know, it's fun to see. And also, again, I just I need to go up one level. Might as well just add real quick. Um, let's replace this sword. See if it's any good. It's pretty good. I'd say it's pretty good. Yeah. Might as well, right? And I think this is a faith weapon, right? Yeah, it is faith. It's faith scaling, so I hit very hard with it. Um, that's awesome, though. What was my faith at? Did I see? Uh, no. Wait. Uh, buh, 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 buh. I can't tell from here. What am I doing? My faith is at 65, which is pretty high. I mean, I don't need it that high. If I, especially if I want to do more ice damage, I guess I don't need to do that. Hey, can someone in the group uh, go defeat a shard bearer real quick? Actually, real quick, why don't we do this to our normal password, right? Let's go ahead and click this, caps lock. Oh, wait. IOT. Boom. And then the other thing. Hello? Okay, there we go. And then Seeker. Okay. I bet you if I stay on this long enough, somebody will go. Um, somebody will go defeat a shard bearer. I mean, I pretty much just defeated the shard bearer. Jesus Christ! Look at this fucking weapon, dude. <laughs> it's just so stupidly overpowered. Like, I hate this weapon. I hate this so much. But I can finally use it, so I, that's kind of why I just wanted to come over here and just test it out. Because this is something I've been waiting the entire game for, as I just wanted to use this sword on the on the farm or whatever. And again, I I only need like. 300,000, so I need like 50k more. So. Don't really need that much. Especially when it's this easy now. Pop that real quick. It costs a lot of FP to use, though, which is fair. It's balanced. I mean, it's not. It's not balanced at all. Look at that. Look at that fucking shit. That is not balanced at all. Also, if you thought it was dope how I beat the ass of the Elden Beast finally doing it the same way that I was, uh, go ahead and uh, like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more of this content because, you know, we stream other stuff too. And also, when Elden Ring's done, who knows what I'm going to start streaming. Because streaming is just kind of what I've been doing because I haven't felt like editing. I haven't been really in a place to be able to edit as much. So, um, unfortunately, I have been resigned to being a streamer, which is not really what I wanted to do. 
but also check out the content on the channel obviously because you know that's what i'm talking about i uh my edited videos my hard work my pride and joy and if you're into kirby we've been playing kirby in the forgotten land and so it's not really a challenging game but what I, from what i've heard some of the bosses actually really are like people are having trouble fighting the final boss of kirby which i can't wait i can't wait to fight that so i i want to do more kirby content but you know we gotta do what we gotta do, you know? Also, I have way too much now. shit. This sword is just so goddamn stupid. I, yeah, Jesus Christ. I would never use this in like a regular playthrough. Like this sword is just ass. I, I, I hate that. I hate that they added this to the game. It is such a victory prize, but the fact that New Game Plus exists is just like, it's basically like spitting in your face. Um. Yeah. Okay. Um, should I go up anymore? You guys think? You guys care? I don't know. Probably not. So, yeah. That all being said, I guess what I can go do now is I can go end the freaking game. Okay. So that's what we'll do. We'll do it. Fractured America. Welcome to America. This is America. He just fell from this guy. Turned into rat again. Who the hell is this guy? Inside of the Erd tree. He turned into the Elden. Er, uh, yeah, the Elden beast. That doesn't really rhyme. I mean, lost the bar there. Oh, touch the defracture Maria America? No, fuck that. We're summoning Ronnie, dude. Ronnie ending. The way to go. Honestly, is the way to go. I did have so much fun with this, by the way. So, there it is. 100% bosses. Didn't miss a single one. All 120. Honestly, there might be more. I I did every single one that was findable, and I found ones that weren't on the wiki, which there wasn't a lot. There was like two. And some of them weren't bosses the either. Is over, I see. And I did all the invader NPCs that I possibly could, too. Invader NPCs really aren't bosses. They're just kind of like enemies that are like... They're more like you. They're more like PvP, right? But at the same time, I, you know, did all them too. I missed, I missed, I think like two from Volcano Manor, but those were just NPC invaders again. So like, I can go back in a second playthrough and beat those if it really bothers people. But they aren't bosses, so they don't count. So here we go, picking up a head. Oh, this is America. Yeah, Titty Woman. So this wasn't Radigan. This was this was Boobs McKenzie. Oh, look at that widow face. Look at the widow face. I do solemnly swear. I do so. Uh, okay, well, to every going? living being and every living soul. Now cometh the age of the stars. Oh, yeah. Age of the stars, A baby. And we killed the frenzy flame. Under the wisdom of the moon. Oh. Epic. Here, Making it the chill night that encompasses all, reaching the great beyond. Into fear, doubt, oh yeah, bro. Loneliness. As the path stretcheth into darkness. Oh, dude, my character looks cool as shit. I mean, the hood doesn't match the cloak, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Also, I don't know if you guys can see that little flash, but I'm taking screenshots every time like it's like frozen. Oh yeah. Solid screenshot. Well then, shall we? Oh, we shall. Um, but can you open your lips a little more when you talk? That'd be kinda dope. Ah yes, my betrothed. My fair consort eternal. My consort eternal? I'm going to be her eternal consort. What's a consort? I'm kidding. I vaguely know what a consort is. I wouldn't be able to say it on stream because I'm going to sound like an idiot. I'm her consort. We're married. World created by Hidek Hidetaka Miyazaki and George R.R. R. Martin. Creator of things like Game of Thrones. Director, yeah. So how much, uh, yeah, so... How much of the world did exactly George R. R. Martin and 
I haven't seen him. These are all Japanese names. Jun Ito? Imagine being named Jun Ito. They, he probably gets asked all the time if he likes Junji Ito. If you don't know what Junji Ito is, it's a manga, it's a horror manga, but his name is Jun Ito. That's probably why I was working on this game, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Lead level designer? Crazy. Who's, I can't read that. Whatever it was. Also, my frame rate kind of stuff is kind of... Ah, my eyes are hurting trying to look at this text. It's not really smooth on my end. <laughs> but... I had a blast. Honestly, okay, so this is probably where I should give some, like, closing thoughts, right? Like, because, you know, like a YouTuber. Um, I think this was an amazing game. I think everyone thinks that this is an amazing game. I think everybody who has played this game, at least to somewhat of a full extent, like, right? Like, if, if you play at least a worthy amount of hours, you probably also think this game's fantastic. You know, if it's if, if this was your first Souls game, you might not think it was the best, but that's because your first Souls game is always going to be the hardest. My first Souls game was Sekiro. That's the hardest one. <laughs> and so uh, I got decently good at that game. And so I might, I might do a full playthrough of that on the channel at some point. Um, if people want it, honestly, because I never finished it. I started a Let's Play on that. Uh, on that game, but then I got so backlogged on footage that I had to edit that I just ended up just kind of dropping it because I was still kind of new to this and I didn't have like the editing chops to kind of sort like cut my way through it. But I really liked Sekiro as well. But this, this game had a lot of the improvements that they added to Sekiro, a lot of the improvements they added to Dark Souls 3. This was like the amalgamation of all the good things about Bloodborne. Sekiro and Dark Souls 3 combined into one game and it's perfect. It's it's just too good. I don't know, however, though, if this is going to be my favorite cuz I I you know, obviously I've put hundreds of hours into this game already. But overall, I don't I was thinking about this the other day, but I don't know if there's any boss in particular that I like just absolutely adore, right? Like there wasn't a single like, at least of the main, main story bosses. Like, I'm sure, like, I, I had a lot of fun with a lot of the dungeon bosses. Like, that was probably my favorite part. That's why I did the 100% playthrough. Is because I just like fighting things, right? I just like doing the kill and doing it my way. Like, because cause I know if I just equipped a great shield there and just went in, whack, 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 did frost, whack, 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 did more frost or whatever, did, did a whole technique like that, like, because... I guess what I could have did to beat Radigan even faster is if I had a shield, I would just block his attacks that I hate, keep dodging the same way that I was, because it would have been easier just because I would have had a shield. And then once I got a frost proc, just use the flame dagger and just do it again. And that would have been a billion times easier than the way that I was doing it. But I was doing it all offensively and with buffs and stuff like that. And I didn't even build my character like specs like specialized in any specific thing and so my build's all over the place so even though my character was like at level 200 i barely hit like a 200 like i just finally reached the soft cap for dexterity which most people just kind of like beeline for and whatever and so i chose to play like that because i just wanted to fight more things i wanted to use more spells i wanted to do more stuff like that and i wanted to just really like just tear this game apart i wanted to do everything that there was to do with that being said, overall, now that I've 100%ed this game, basically, I mean, maybe I didn't find every single item. Maybe I didn't find every single line of dialogue. I, I definitely didn't. But, so I can't really say it's a full 100% playthrough, but it's a 100% boss playthrough, and that's what matters. Um, because that's all I'm, I've really claimed to do. That being said, I just, like... The Elden Beast was cool, but I wish that there was more to the fight than it just, like, being big and shooting, like, beams of light at you. That, like, that being the final fight kind of blows. I think that fight was more... Like, I feel like the Elden Beast should have been the fight of, like, the sky gravity bug thing that you have to fight for Ronnie's questline. The, the gravity... What, what is that thing called? I don't know. Um, but that thing... They're both like, like if anything, that thing was easy to, easy to cheat. I just hit that with the flame of the red main a couple times, and then it just like fell to its knees, and like I was like, okay, whatever. And I kind of got bored doing that. But for like the Elden Beast, it just like wasn't 
interesting, which is part of the reason why I just didn't want to brute force it. I wanted to find like an interesting way. So like when Fuzz was just like in the chat, like it's resistant to all elements. It just needs physical damage. I'm like, that's really stupid. Like that, that makes this the least fun boss in the game because there's no thinking to it. It's just, I, I mean, there is obviously because I, I still had to dodge. I still had a Bloodhound step. And regardless of whether you know, or not you think Bloodhound step is OP, I mean, it's, it's not. It's just, if anything, it's an ability that makes it so that instead of rolling, instead of like going head over heels and doing a somersault, you just dash forward. It basically has very similar iframes. I don't know if you could see, but during the Radigan fight, like certain attacks that where he would slam the ground, if I Bloodhound stepped through, I would get hit. But if I rolled and I, I actually didn't get hit. And there's also something to be said once I started rolling towards him more, it obviously like changed kind of the outcome but overall like i that was like the first time in the game pretty much for me to realize that bloodhound step isn't too much better than just rolling it's just easier for your brain to wrap your head around like what it's doing right like so for like the melania fight when she's doing the crazy like of course bloodhound step is going to be easier there because you don't there's no downtime you don't have to wait for your feet to hit the ground again to keep moving you come out of that and you're still running and so that's what makes bloodhound step so good but other than that it's not really that much of an advantage and to be honest, like, that's why towards the end of the Radigan fight, I just didn't use it. Is because it was more a fit... Did it say Samuel Jackson? Oh my god, it does say Samuel Jackson. Samuel Jackson was in this? Samuel Jackson was in this? And Jeffrey Lee. Hi. Um, anyways. Um, yeah, so, I, like, someone came into the chat, I think a few like streams ago and was like oh you're using bloodhound step oh you're using rivers of blood and i think that's what got into my head and that was during the millennia fight and to be honest if i would have just went into the millennia fight like this is how i'm gonna do it i'm gonna use two swords i'm either gonna use frost or bleed i'm just gonna kick her ass i could have did it like in 20 minutes like maybe maybe 15 honestly i could have did it like pretty easily again also if i was using a shield i could have probably done it way easier but because I wanted to beat her with dual swords, I wanted to beat her like a cool anime ninja samurai, I screwed myself over because then I was like, okay, well, does do people want me to use Mimic? Do people... Blah, blah, blah? And I started caring about that shit too much. I should have just did it the way I wanted to do it because then I would have beat it. And so I tried to... And so that's why after that fight, I just got rid of Rivers of Blood. I like reduced my arcane so I couldn't even use it anymore. Oh, hey, sweet. Um, I'm going to leave this here for a second because I'm not really done with those thoughts. Um, but I basically, I was so mad at how I did it and so how, and how long it took me to beat that fight that I was like kind of looking forward to the entire game that I just said, I hate the way that I did it. I hate that I used rivers of blood. I hate that I just was there for so long that I finally said to myself, fuck this, I'm just going to beat it. And I just beat it because why not? Cause I, even in that stream, if you go back, I, I added chapters of the two times where I threw on purpose because I used rivers of blood and I got her down to maybe like, I want to say like a, like a ninth of her health. And I was like, oh shit, we're going to beat it. And then I looked at my hands and I was like carrying rivers of blood. And I was like, okay. And I have mimic and mimic was like rivers of blooding her. I was like, yeah, no, I don't want to do this. And I, I basically just like kind of watched as she killed mimic and then just like circled around her and then like kind of still was like eh, slash whatever and then just died and i was like okay cool reset and i did that twice basically i don't know if they they happen exactly the same twice but yeah i towards the end of the game i was getting really unsatisfied with how i just started to morph into everybody else just using the same builds like one of the memes that me and fuzz keep laughing about is that I, when i posted the all the people with the white mask it's like hundreds of people in the white mask and they all have rivers of blood and it's like yo check out my rivers of blood build and it's like exactly what this game became and then people just kind of like watch eric's gaming or like whoever and like just kind of copy their builds and i'm like okay if you want to play like that that's fine good for you you really showed the cpu um but I knew what I wanted to do when I went into this. I love katanas. So people kind of also started to give me flack about like using katanas. And it's like every game that exists, I look to see if there's a katana in it, period. Like if there was a katana, like I like Ninja Kirby better than Sword Kirby because he, got, he has a katana. Katanas are just my jam. Like that, I just love the idea. Like it's the best sword to me, period. If it's a katana, it's super cool. Every character that I've designed for like D&D &D always has a katana. I love katanas. So when this game came out, 
and katana just slowly started becoming the most op thing and people were like oh my god you use that katana i was like oh fuck god damn it like why 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 did my favorite weapon have to be the one that everyone's like oh that's a cheesy weapon it's like fuck you okay like that's why i sort of that's also why towards the end of the game i just started switching to the basic uchi katana i didn't use moon veil i didn't use rivers of blood i didn't even use that dragon katana i just used things i came up with which is like well i mean flame of the red mains isn't really something i came up with but that move is fucking amazing and it is really a lifesaver and that's really kind of what i kept it in reserves for like i could have spammed i could have just tried to beat radigan with only using that like like I, i can imagine somebody who's like just cheeses bosses or whatever like walks in and is like i'm just gonna spam flame of the red mains and just like builds around being able to just knock radigan to his knees and it's like yeah i'm not doing that either I, it was in my inventory as like a mostly there to get rid of the frost but also like if i was getting annoyed and i just wanted to knock him to his knees it's like well, who cares if i do that once like it's just like what and then boom i get a crit or whatever like, some of the bosses are designed so that, like, you barely get crits anyway, so it's, like, it's interesting to have a mechanic where you can force it to happen, and whatever. And, it, again, it's just no different than building around it. It's just using an ability that does it. Um, I don't know. Other than that, like, so those are my gripes with, like, gameplay in terms of, like, how towards the end. However, the gameplay of the game is amazing. Like, the versatility in this game, the amount of weapons, the amount of options, the amount of incantations, the amount of spells, the amount of combinations, the amount of armors. Oh my god, this game beats all of the other Souls games in terms of that. It is so much easier to be creative, and that's why this Souls game is one that I'll probably play continually a lot more, because there's a lot more to explore. There's a lot more to play with. There's a lot more ideas I can have. Whereas, like, in Bloodborne, I mean, once you kind of get the gist of most of the weapons and decide which ones you don't really care for, it's like, why go back, right? Like, you can go back to play it because it's an amazing story, but, like, you're not going to change up your build too much. Um, Souls games, uh, you can change up a lot more in those because there's a lot more magic options and like a lot more versatility in, in terms of that, but nowhere near Elden Rings. And then Sekiro, you're just playing a Sekiro, right? Like every single ability that he gets is basically tailored to specific fights anyways. And so it is how you use them that's creative, but the builds that you make with Sekiro will never be that much different. Like, sir, sure, there's like moves that you can switch up and whatever, but like that that wasn't the point of that game. That the point of that game was to make you walk into an area and go, God damn, this is beautiful. Or, oh my god, that fight was so challenging. I'm so glad I overcame it. It like it, it wasn't about your build, it was about your ability, right? And so that's why Sekiro is so good. Um Elden Ring though. Overall, I, I gave it a ten out of ten. hundred percent. It's amazing. Amazing story. There's so much lore to uncover. I'm I'm trying to like read up on lore with like body stuff, um, body vidya. And because he's like the best at like learning about the lore, because that's why I pretty much know so much about Sekiro is because I just watched his videos and like learn read and stuff like that. Um, I'm trying to do that with Elden Ring, but man, the Elden Ring story is like all over the place. There's a lot of like Radigan marrying Merica, and then like he turned into Merica there for a second, or did he? I don't know. Um, but then there was also like, um, or I, I guess maybe Merica possessed Radigan's body. I don't know what was going on there. I need to rush up on that. I know Radan was like a kid of one of them. They're all demigods. Like all the bosses, um, essentially like, like they they're just like demigods and like children of demigods and stuff. So it's like Greek, very Greek mythology. It's like child to child to child. This guy betrayed who? Blah 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 blah. And so that that's pretty much the story of Elden Ring, which is interesting. It's nice, and there's a lot of unanswered questions about like the mythos. But in terms of, like, comparing it to something like Bloodborne that had, like, questions the entire way through and, like, you really got to, like, change how you think to really understand it, I think that's why Bloodborne will probably remain having one of the best stories out of all of them. And then Sekiro has the best gameplay out of all of them. Like, in terms of my hierarchy, Bloodborne has the best story, Sekiro has the best gameplay, and Elden Ring has, like, the best additions and versatility. It has the best accessibility and stuff like that um and so that that's kind of where elden ring sits for me is like but but in terms of like the bosses and like interesting characters i think the side characters in this game shined a billion times more than any of the bosses any of the lore any of the like stuff like that like alexander the big pot guy hilarious honestly one of my favorite characters like the the whole thing with d and his brother his brother is kind of that was kind of left on like more to be desired um is it golden demigods? Hey, what's up? Hey, I haven't seen you in a while. You haven't commented it's golden on, on stuff recently. So I, I missed you. 
Um, but yeah, yeah, it was golden. The whole whole game was golden. Honestly, everything was all about gold. The, the whole end fight it was all very golden. Um, I'm just kind of giving my closing thoughts on what I what I feel about the game overall. Like, I think it was amazing. Don't get me wrong. I think that in terms of the story, it was like it left a little to be desired. It was interesting, but I don't think it was presented interestingly enough. Like you get to the end and I, I mean, like if you've been paying attention to every single thing you find and talk to and everything like that, then when you get to the end and he's like, I'm Godfrey, actually I'm Hora Lou. Like that makes sense to you, but it takes a lot of work to get to that kind of sense. Right? Like, like if you just like are playing the game and this is like your first souls game, you get to that and you're like, okay, or a Lou, uh, whatever, I'm gonna beat your ass. Um, and so, yeah, bas- yeah, I just, I, I don't know. I, I have gripes with the game. Um, what are negatives? What, what are like severe negatives? I guess they're that the story, like, wasn't because it was so open world, and I get that it suffers because of this reason alone, is because it was so open world that it was not linear enough to make sense. It was still a Souls game where I was like, ah, yes, there's, there's a lot to wrap your brain around. However, in an open world setting, I feel like almost no one understood that. Like, like I mean, obviously, like, Fuzz, I know you're going to be in the comments like, I understood the whole story. Yeah, but you're you, first off. Most people, I feel like a, a, a lot of the story went way over their head, right? Um, which is fine. I mean, that being said, the gameplay is amazing. The world is amazing. The, the like, exploration, finding stuff in this game was just so exciting like i hope it was for everybody else for me that's why i i persisted and i just found everything is because even if it was stuff i didn't want i'm like that's cool maybe someone i know would want to use this it, i don't know i hope that they keep going also down the route of like more multiplayer type of stuff like obviously i i don't think there should ever be like a two player souls game or something like that but i think a, a degree maybe in like the next game that they come out with whether it's like elden ring 2 or some shit um I I don't think there would be anything too bad about like some sort of like cross progression where like if you beat a boss together then you both beat it like kind of that that way it's a little more enticing to keep playing with your friends and I know that these games kind of also thrive specifically from like people just being like I'm just gonna beat it a hundred times and come up with these crazy builds and it's like that's fun too but like it's, it has a good story I think it should be I think it's easier to appreciate that especially when you play with someone else. And so, like, I, like you kind of find things, discover things, share information back and forth, and it's, like, exciting. It's like watching a movie or something, right? Like, you're watching a movie, at, a movie at home and kind of critiquing it, right? Or, like, even just, even if you are just playing it by yourself and you're just enjoying the story, like, you're going to miss stuff. So, being around other people and having more access to, like, co-op and stuff, like, I think is helpful because you learn more. You know about weapons that you would have never found, and maybe that becomes your favorite weapon in the game. I don't know. Ha. <sighs> Okay, so that, that that's one gripe, is that the, the story was kind of like, it was unclear for a lot of people, and I think the exploration made the cohesiveness of the story suffer. Um, that being said, the story's amazing. It's, it's just hard to digest for a normal person, I think. Um, I think the weapons are awesome. I think there is a lot of balancing issues. Like, I think as soon as they fixed Arcane and everybody was like, bleed, bleed is the only way of life. I was like a little put off by that. And I was like, um, okay. And that's part of the thing that ended up leading to me just hating Rivers of Blood. I hated Rivers of Blood from pretty much the start because I was like, you're like, it's so OP. It just melts bosses. And I'm like, I don't want to melt bosses. I want to finesse bosses. I want them to swing and dodge. And, you know, I want to feel like I'm kicking their ass. I don't want to feel like I'm just spamming the left trigger. Good for me. I, I made some numbers high, and then now I just hit one button. I'm so good. Like, I don't care, right? Like, I want struggle. I want a little bit of, like, toughness. I want it to be difficult, but I don't want it to be cheesable, if that makes sense. Like, I don't want to just cheese every boss. Having the option to cheese certain bosses is nice. Like, when, let's say you're doing, like, a boss for a very long time or whatever, and you've gotten their first phase down, but you get to the second phase, like, for example, with, like, Radigan or even Melania, like, this happened to me. Like, having the option to be able to, like, cheese i guess is sometimes good because then you don't just have to brute force it right like it's like okay well i beat her with skill once 
now I'm going to cheese and like, I'm going to spam flame of the red mains or rivers of blood or whatever. Right. Like, and that's the mentality I was trying to have with the Melania fight, but then I would get to the second phase and just find myself still using rivers of blood because I'm like, Oh God, I don't, I haven't had a chance to switch weapons or, you know, I'm already too far in or something. And that's why I just kept throwing is cause I was like, God damn it. I'm at the end. And because I was trying to just beat the first phase faster, cause I already beat it. I've also beaten the second phase faster. It's like it's too easy at that point with Rivers of Blood, so I just got mad. And that that that's why I, I'm still fucking talking about it. But I fixed it and I I started going kind of down the route of like an ice build and I think ice is cool because it kind of has the same effect as bleed but it's harder to do. And so like and you can't just keep doing it. And so I like that better. And so I I chose that, but at this point my build was also a little messed up and so my ice damage and my ice um abilities and stuff weren't up to bat as much i try to do some creative stuff like i don't know if you saw earlier but i did i put the the spinning blade on my dagger because then it makes it so that the dagger hits really fast and that will get an ice proc faster and for a lot of bosses it was working but radigan just moved around too much and so i ended up just like saying no to that and then the elden beast can't be frostbitten so i just like i had to put it away i i thought i had a good idea there but i guess certain bosses are just totally immune to it. um I guess could I could I cover? I mean, like again, katanas are my favorite weapon, but there were some really freaking cool weapons in this. Like even just even just Redan's dual big great swords that when you hit the ground they go like and it's like a gravity thing. Like gravity powers, like the fact that they're in the game are super cool. Like the the whole astral space magic type of thing, fucking awesome. That that was such a good ride. That's what made me like this because normally every game, no matter what, I will almost never play a mage. I do not care about magic. I care about, like, shooting lightning out of my hands, because that's cool, because I like lightning. But, like, if magic doesn't add to my interest in katanas, then it just doesn't. And so for this game, when I found out, like, you can, like, light your fucking sword on fire, or you could, like, sh you know, make it poison, or, or things like that, with, like, Ashes of War, and use magic to kind of make your weapons cooler, that's the route that I tried to go down. From the start of this game, my my goal was to make the ultimate magic samurai. And that's what I did. I made a faith build samurai. I have very versatility. But like I said, because my build was all over the place, I didn't hit very hard in certain aspects. And that's my fault. But I that was a choice. That was a choice I made. And so that's why I had to be so much higher of a level to beat the game was because I needed to rank up things that should have been higher, but I didn't want to make the sacrifice of lowering other things. Um which that is also kind of a disappointment for me. Um, but that's more me just being disappointed in myself. Um, there is stuff I want to do better on the new game plus playthrough, obviously. And there's builds that I want to make on just completely new characters. Um, there's a build that me and Fuzz were laughing about and I just decided to create um, with uh, the big butcher knife. And I call it land shark because it looks like a giant fin. I want to make a build like that. And so I'll, I might do a land shark playthrough um, just because I think that's funny. I'll make a guy like that looks like very sharkish something like very gray and like sharp teeth if i can something like that um yeah this was a blast i feel like um i had the most fun in though though in the beginning when the game was really like hitting off and uh all my friends were playing with me that's part of the reason why like if you look at the thumbnail for example it's like all of us because i wanted i wanted this game to be a lot more of like a adventure together but towards the end of the game i think we all just started to go our separate routes and that kind of that kind of bums me out but, I mean, obviously, I can't control what other people do. If other people want to play solo, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. It was just that, like, I really enjoyed playing with my friends. And in the beginning, when we were all just discovering things together and, like, the first couple episodes of the series, when me, Griffin, and Maddie were just, like, finding bosses and we were like, hey, I found this today. And we would, like, always regroup after work and, like, just kind of, like, share information. And, like, that was fun. That was fun to me. That was what made me the happiest. And I... I was laughing and like really genuinely having like a good time, like and I felt it in my soul. And like that's that that was like the most fun that I had in like a while playing a video game. And that's why I think Elden Ring stuck out so much to me. But then, you know, once everybody started just saying, Fuck it, now I'm just gonna kill all the main bosses and just start running through. I'm on my sixth playthrough. Like I was like, Okay, well, this is no longer fun because we're not discovering things together. We're not still exploring, we're not still looking for stuff and like, you know, finding things together anymore. And so, you know, I started having to go the solo route, but I did end up, you know, saying, making good out of it and saying, like, you know, if I'm finding everything anyways, I'll just kill every boss. And that, I think, was the best choice that I could have made, because then it became no longer about, like, well, I'm not just, like, 
sitting around waiting for people to play with like that just don't have the same goal as I do. And so it's like now I had like a goal, like a concrete goal, which was just to beat every boss. And that started to become really fun because it was just like, what's next? And I was able to start finding things and, you know, and I, I think I also did a good job of not spoiling things for myself because every time I would find like a boss, even though like I like sometimes use the wiki to help me or I like needed to finish a quest and I kind of used a guide through, I don't think I ever like let myself like read too much into like the lore, or what there was or like every item that was there. And so when I found stuff, I still found stuff. It was just like, oh, there's a boss over here. I'm like, okay, well, how do I get there? And then I would turn off the wiki, and I would try to figure out how to get down there. And so I would do that part. It was just I didn't know that there was a boss down there because I wouldn't have thought of that. Um, so that that was kind of fun. Um, so that's kind of what I turned it into. Um, but that all being said, I, th I again, I think Elden Ring was a fantastic game. I don't think it really has enough problems for it to even be considered bad in any way. Like, I think there are things that I don't like about it, and there are things that I think other people probably don't like about it. But that being said, I think overall, unanimously, the world pretty much agrees that this game slaps. That's it. That's pretty much it. Um, as for other endings... um. I've read most of what they are, and so I chose the one that I chose because I wanted I wanted to end the series like in a way that was like perfect, and so that's kind of the, also the reason that I um I chose to do what I did, which was awaken the frenzy flame. Which I got to see the cutscene for the frenzy flame, which I wouldn't have done if I just was like, eh, no, I just want this ending. Um, so I chose that ending, even though it was like, hey, you lock yourself into this, and then it was like, but you can do this, and so I kind of. I thought it would be more heroic to do the evil ending, kill the evil, and be like, psych, good ending. And so I just feel like that was the most heroic way to end the game. Um, there's definitely boss fights I wish I would have did differently. And now that I know kind of most of them, obviously I, all of them, I literally did every boss. Um, I think on my second playthrough, I think I'll have like an easier time. And I'll definitely... I'll definitely be keeping track because, like, if I, like, walk up to Margaret and I want, you know, do it on my first try, dope. <laughs> dope. I was right. Um, If I, like, get to Melania, do it on my, like, I, I don't think I'll do her on my, like, first try, but, like, maybe, like, fifth or sixth try, like, because I, I know what I what to expect. Like, I'll be like, okay, cool. And I think that'll rebuild my confidence a little bit as well in terms of, like, yeah, I could have did it easier because a lot of that is, like, I 100% know, like, we, there were points in the fight where, like, I would basically be, like, like hesitating because I'm like, is this how I want to beat it? And so many of the bosses in the game, I ended up dying there. And it's because the second I got it in my head that I was like, is this how I want to do it? I would fail, right? And so if I was just, like, I'm just trying to get on to the next boss, like, if I went into this not as, like, a YouTuber trying to, like, care about, like, the cinematicness of the content, then... I probably would have had a lot easier time with all, almost all, every single boss, but you know, hindsight's twenty twenty, and so I, I tried to learn from it, and I feel like you know, like I said, we beat Hora loose so fast, we beat him on basically our first try. Like again, I I went in there, watched the cutscene, I was like, wow, and I like didn't do any of my buffs, didn't do anything to kind of make myself stronger, didn't build my weapons in a way that was like, ah, oh, how am I gonna beat this fight? And I just died. I was like, okay, whatever. I didn't even get to the second phase. I barely even got to the second phase. I barely got a few hits in. And then I just went in and beat his ass. And then Radigan, like, same thing. I was just like, ah, I'm just going to kick his ass. I went in, you know, I was like, what do we expect? And he started slinging magic at me. I'm like, oh, okay, this fight is different than I thought it was. Died, went in, beat his ass. And then I was like, okay, well, how does the Elden Beast work or whatever? And then it just happened, and I was like, oh, well, I have six fucking flasks. And I still got him down to half health. So maybe I didn't need all of that, but, you know, okay. I'll stop rambling because I, I just wanted to make sure that this was all closed out and everything was, like, covered because I don't want to just leave any loose ends or whatever just in case I don't come back to this for a while because I probably will. I'll be playing. I mean, I might make shorts of, like, things that I do outside of this. Let me know if you actually care about that. Um, But, like I said, I'll stop rambling. Um, But thank you, everybody who watched. Pretty much all of it. I mean, I don't expect everyone to have seen every single stream because the streams tend to run longer, especially this one. This one's like three hours, and it didn't need to be because we basically had already beaten Radigan and almost the Elden Beast at like 50 minutes. 
into the stream. <laughs> like, imagine, imagine if I beat all three of them essentially in like the first hour. I'd have been just sitting there like, I know. <laughs> um, so I think also part of me wanted to kind of like push that as well. So that's why I started to mess around with like the fists and the other abilities and stuff like that as well. It's because I just like was dilly dallying and I was like, yeah, whatever. I was just kind of having fun with it. But again, if you watch this far, you're amazing. You're awesome. You're one of my biggest fans. I love you. Seriously. Like you're fantastic. I, I would not be still doing this if absolutely no one watched. Like if absolutely no one watched every single day, I wouldn't be here. So the fact that like you guys keep coming back, the fact that people are here to support, the fact that people still like want to see me do cool stuff if I can or if I get out of my head for 10 minutes, um, that's awesome. That that really warms my heart. And so this this was an awesome game, and I'm so glad that it made its way onto the channel. I'm so glad I finished it on the channel as well because, you know, the last big game I think I finished was um was Resident Evil. And so, like, obviously, I have to do things based on attention. Like, if all, like, if a series is getting a lot of attention, I think that'll push me to finish it a lot more. And I think for this one, I was just having so much fun playing that, regardless of whether or not people were really like in interested in watching it a lot, um, I was gonna finish it either way. But I both happened, and so it did well. Like, look, this video is our, it says it's at forty three views. I can only imagine what it's actually at, um, because YouTube's on crack, um. But that being said, um, I had fun and it did well. So that's awesome. You know, this is my defin definitely ty my type of niche game. Even even Jayglyph two three four was saying that as well. My my other YouTube coworker, and uh, he's like, "This is my type of game." And I'm like, "Well, thank you," because it definitely is. It give me a sword. I'll fucking start whacking monsters. But uh, that speaking of that as well, Monster Hunter Sunbreak, I think, is the next big, big game that I'm looking forward to, at least. Uh, other than Slime Rancher 2, which I guess isn't really a huge game, but I can't wait to fucking play that game once it gets announced. It's barely... I don't even think you can buy it yet. Um, I obviously want to finish Kirby, but that's work or whatever. Um, but I adore Kirby. I, I need that on my channel. Even if I don't finish it, I just, I, I'm just i happy with just even having like a few episodes of Kirby on my channel. And if they get more attention in the future, who knows? I'll come back to it and I'll, I'll finish out the series. But um, I also might just cave and just play it for myself. Who knows? Who knows, really? I, it's all up in the air. It's a lot of planning. I need to figure some stuff out. Talk to my talk to my team. You know, talk to my team of directors. Um and uh, figure that shit out. But again, I'm rambling. Ah, I'm sorry. I just it's just who I'm. It's just who I am. Uh, but again, if you like the video, leave a like. If you're not subscribed, why not? What? You're gonna miss out on content like this, really, by just not clicking the subscribe button? Are you crazy? You could click the bell, and then you could also get notified when I go live. Not because you you have the option to choose personalized notifications or all notifications. If you get all notifications, I'd understand why you get upset. But you could click personalized, bruh. That would mean that you see a lot of the stuff, you know? Uh, but then also, the last thing was the comments. I, I'm already still talking too much. But if you had a favorite moment, obviously leave that in, in the comments. You could also just look back at the timestamps on the chat. But, like, if you had a specific favorite moment and you want to drop it in the comments, that's awesome. I might might even just make it a chapter in the in the stream or whatever. That way other people can find it. That way we can make it a clip later. Who cares? Really? Who knows? Yeah. Um... So, begin journey two. If you do not start over now, you can choose to begin journey two later at the table of the lost race in the round hold. So, no, let us not start our next playthrough yet because I'm not ready to just restart the game. But we are just vibing here, which I think is interesting. But what we'll do is we'll go over here and we'll click doop doop. And we're 200 hours in the game. We beat the game 200 hours in. Uh, most people beat it like what, like 40 hours in because they just, you know. Um, but that being said, you know, Elden Ring. Woo! I had a blast. Again. Again. This game was so fucking good. Like, when did, when were they, like, starting the production of this game? Because there's so much in it. Like, like, everyone's like, Skyrim took, like, seven years. I'm like, by that logic, this game should have took, like, 90. Like, did they start making this in the 80s? Like, I don't know how there was so much stuff, but, man, it was a journey. Oh. Last thing that I'll say, by the way, is join our Discord. Because then you can suggest things. You can suggest games to play. You could just ask to play games with us, honestly. You could, you know, share memes. Share funny ha-has in the chat. 
or whatever. They have recycled a lot of assets and cut content. I mean, eh. It's still a massive game. This game was insanely huge. Yes, there was a lot of repeat bosses, but they were in different scenarios, and it seemed different each time. The only one that I would say like felt like really repetitive was the was the bug with the pincers and the skull, like the gravity thing. That thing, we fought that literally twice, and we fought the deer twice, too, which was kind of weird. But, yeah, I, I get the recycled assets part, but, like, again, it still was massive. There was so much to this game. So much. More than Skyrim. <laughs> um... Like, Skyrim, you walk in the same dungeon, you do the same quest, like, 85 times. You're just like, okay, okay, I'll go help these people. I'll kill, kill a bear for my 80th time, because it's in the cave. And this guy was like, help us, we got attacked by a bear. Or whatever. <laughs> but, you know, like I said, join the Discord. Again, make friends with us. Suggest things. Help, you know, if you got ideas for content and you just want to see me do stuff, you have the power to be like, yo, Zio, do this shit. And I'll probably do it. <laughs> that sounds bad. I I am a whore for your content, I guess. But, um, you know, that's chill. Join the Discord. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm just pressing the buttons because I got nothing better to do. But peace out, everybody. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Honest to God. I'll catch you guys in the next one, but I'm so grateful to every single one of you that showed up. Hope to see you guys in the next one. See you later. Peace out. Goodbye. I'm actually leaving now.